two. What's up, everybody? Whoa! Whoa! It's Wednesday, August 17th. A beautiful, hot, hot, hot! It's hot out there. Summer day. My mic is flip-flopping. Guys, today's episode is sponsored by Honey. Um, Zach, what's going on? Here is Ethan Klein. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all domestic terrorists. Hello! Anyone here from Arizona? Do not oh, wait. Thank God. So sweet. All right, I lifted the time embargo. <laughs> no. <laughs> you guys no. went crazy. You got to sit what? through this, my friend. Oh. Joker Church, 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 like, no, no shoddies or anything? Hold it. Young Fika, thank you for the three gifted rope. Ah. Oh, yeah! 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 Hallelujah! Friend Neil bent over. This happened. Oh, what do we do about it? Do do about it? How you go from hallelujah to the prolapse? What do we do about it? Oh my goodness! We lift the embargo, and Zach turns it. It takes how long was that? <laughs> Two minutes on the dot. Oh, wow, it felt like a lifetime. <laughs> that was a whole spiritual experience, man. Wow. What in God's earth was that? This is truly off the rails. Visuals brought to you by Ian. Yeah, Ian was, uh, I could see you guys yeah. collaborated on that, too. Like, yes. An extent we have not yet seen. Yes. So, Always raising the bar here on the H3 we podcast. Well, that is that is true. We are revolutionary in the podcasting space. So thank you, guys. Wow. Wow. Did you catch your breath after that? <laughs> Thank you to Prolapse Penguin, 20 gifted subs. Today, uh, I don't know if you guys heard, sponsored by Honey. Also, shout out tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. PST. Peanuts is dropping. Also, everyone else has some swag. Olivia's got some swag. Cam's got some swag. Mm. Mm-hmm. Cam's been talking about that sweater for weeks. I love yeah, it, dude. Yeah, sweater rules. It's, it's over 90 degrees out right now, and it I feels know. so cool in this. I'm serious. Like, I, lo- I fucking love it. This is so worth it. Awesome. I'm glad. Oh. Oh. Nice. Love is holding up. Well, I do like that shirt. It's not peanuts, but I do like it. <laughs> oh, we sent it. We got that out to you, eh? Yeah. Thank you. Nice. What do people in Sweden think about that shirt, I wonder, <laughs> if you walked around in that, love? I've been walking around in it, and uh, I haven't gotten any reactions, but I don't think people care. I think That's it's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, so, teddyfresh.com. Tomorrow morning, Charlie Brown and the Peanuts Gang. Thank you. Thank you. Peace and love. We have quite an action-packed episode today. We have a big game planned later on in the show. We will be playing... Guess whose parents? Wow. So we got pictures of everybody's parents. And I will have the singular duty of matching them up to which crew members. Holy smokes. This is going to be fun. And then do we have the sibling wild cards as well? No, no siblings. We kept it. We realized it's a lot of parents to go through. That's a lot of folk right there. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, so. Family, family, 
Yeah. I'm actually super curious to see who who's parent who's out there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's gonna be fun. We also have a massive beef coming up it's being squashed today. Uh, why? Uh, that big old muscle, bro. From he's not. I guess he's he's cru- cruises with now, but he's not part of now. What's his name? Bradley. Oh, Martin. Bradley. Martin. Bradley Martin. Yeah, we're gonna squash the beef with Bradley today. May I call you Brad, Mr. Brad? B. Red. The Brad. Yeah. B. B Brad. B. Martin. Yeah. B. Red Mart. And also we have well, David Dobrik. Also, I love this man. He's still trying to kill people on his crew. He's awesome. <laughs> But at the top of the show here, we have want to give a shout out to Jeremy from The Quartering, longtime friend of the show. It is the two year anniversary from Jeremy peeing in his basement. Now, this is like. Yes. This is huge. I mean, we, we, we celebrate anniversaries 9 11, Pearl Harbor, Independence Day. I don't know. Really we celebrate 9 11's anniversary. We, we observe it. We observe it. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah, we observe it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but so August 17th is I just been pe- in my basement day and here. Well, let's just enjoy this You never know You never know sure don't maybe I'm gonna pee in my trash can down here. I don't know <laughs> My wife went out for pizza without me and I'm angry about it. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I'm gonna win this round and I'm gonna pee If I don't win this round, I'm gonna pee in my own basement, right, right, right I love how he Get says, up. I love how he says my own basement, like it's an act of self-destruction. <laughs> I'm going to do this to myself. I'm so angry at my wife. Get up! No! This is a leading voice on the right, actually, <laughs> of YouTube, if you can believe that. And uh, you can hear distant peeing if you listen closely, of course. Oh, I didn't realize he has a Get Woke, Go Broke plaque yeah, back here. Yeah, that's from Target. I got that for my niece, actually. <laughs> that's cool. That's interesting, yeah. You could have it say whatever you want. But oh, you they... had it say. Yeah, my niece just doesn't say Get, get Woke. What? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I don't know princess. that we need the whole uh, <laughs> break here. I have literally... So here we go. I have literally never lost that round. God. I've never lost that round. I've never lost that round. (laughs) (laughs) The grunting and moaning. (laughs) But I'm ready. I'm ready now. This man. Oh my god. I just peed in my basement. (laughs) This man. Wow. Legend. He's got his life together. You can certainly tell. You know, I, whenever my wife goes out with her friends without me, I shit on the floor. So he's better oh, than I am. Yeah, he's more evolved than he, than me. So who am I to, to uh, make fun of him? Ha, 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 but there ha, he I'm is, Jer- <laughs> Jerry. is Jeremy from the quartering, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Leading voice on the right. Uh, and there's he's, shit all over the floor. He's a class act, <laughs> and we love him. We have to observe this this wonderful day. Another thing that came up from yesterday. Which I'm not super happy about. Also, I don't know if this is a Photoshop or what. Is that a Photoshop? I saw this. Seems a tad receded. I said that, okay? I'm the one who said that. Is Ethan still worthy of the title Hairline King? Uh oh. But that's a Photoshop, right? I don't yeah. think so. No. I don't think so. Oh, no? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's not. Who said yeah? I did. Cam? It's very subtle, but it, it's a Photoshop. Can we get a hairline? Thank t- you. Because I was like, bro, come on. And Well, there's an easy way to. Let's get check. a hairline check. Ooh, look at my hair. See it side by side? And I'm pulling it back, too. That's the other side. It was the other, yeah, side. The other side. Okay, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> okay. When, Looks like when it was you guys fluke. posted When you guys posted that in chat, I was actually add, editing the highlights, and I don't think it was uh, Photoshop. Love, you were, you were Oh, running... yeah, God forbid nobody could Photoshop something fast, love. Nobody <laughs> ever heard of that. It You're had the appearance of a thick mat of hair. Running so much defense the last episode, where's this coming from? Well, I'm still, I'm still of, of uh, the that opinion high. that that isn't that bad. I mean, even in that photo, it's yeah. not bad. It's, it's like not bad for you. <laughs> for a normal human. Have I like have that. a title to uphold. No, I think it's like actually still a grain, yeah. Yeah. That's not... To be fair, your hair could have been sitting weird that day. Well, I'm pulling it right back, so you tell me. Is that photoshopped? I'm pulling it back as far as I can. 
Yes. Yeah, it's photoshopped. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I was freaking out at home. I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. So you guys all knew it was photoshopped and you're fucking with me. No, I didn't know it was photoshopped. Huh? I couldn't tell. I, I, I couldn't tell. I'm still not totally convinced. What, what, what do I need to do to well, convince I'm trying to, you? I'm trying to find the original so we can just look at the frame from the episode. Look at my head right now. Right, but that's not back. what's in question. Is, is that a Photoshop or not? The Photoshop It could have looked like that the other day. Yeah, I think maybe... Cameron, the one man qualified to make that distinction, yep. that says it's a Photoshop. I don't want to put my credentials I on think... the line here, but... No? Uh, I don't know. I compared the frames exactly yesterday when it was sent in the shot. <laughs> it's did. pretty fucking similar. Yeah. I mean, this is <laughs> the exact same moment, You gotta but... find that frame, then. Uh, somebody's gotta match that frame up exactly, then. I mean, I... I'm... You know, like, when a toddler wakes up from a nap and their hair is, like, plastered yeah. to yeah. their head yeah i figured maybe something like that had happened and it like parted your hair specifically in that area if it's real because that's what i like thought that normally too. but i also can't tell if it's photoshopped we need a poll there it is olivia's right your hair could have been sitting weird that, that doesn't make sense how do you show scalp because it, it could have like here i'll try, I'll try to make it that. as fat as i can see that's what i'm saying Still doesn't look like that though. Yo, is my hairline receding? But now turn to the uh -huh. side. Check the shot. I sent the screenshot. Okay, okay, all right. Oh, you got the exact screenshot? Okay, love got it. I already. think so. I took that yesterday when I was comparing. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you're already on this. All right, let's let's compare up now. Okay, interesting, interesting. I don't think that's shopped. Yeah. Yeah, I came to the That looks conclusion. genuine. That looks genuine. Hmm. Well. But, like, but listen, like, today, it doesn't look like that. So it's clearly just like a flu. Yeah, it's a bad hair day. Yeah, it's just it's a bad hair This is day. from the show? Yes. Did you not Photoshop this to fuck with me? <laughs> no. How deep does it I need, I need someone else to pull this up. Well, I found the part where you're talking about it on the show right here. Look at that. Right, that didn't no, look good. Not. That looks bad. Why is it so high? You were quick with that note. Maybe because, maybe this whole... It was like right, right around there, that frame. Oh my god. It's similar. You know, sometimes maybe different conditioner or something could thin the hair temporarily. <laughs> did you like, should, uh, or did you wake up from a nap or something? Show me, show me. Okay, before anyone makes any accusations, here's my hairline. I pulled it back all the way. Not many men would even dare to do this. Okay. Fuck, dude. I, Why is I it sent you the file name, file details. I gotta start taking Discord. Rogaine and shit. Oh, wow. Okay, we have the metadata here. Yeah, pull up the metadata. Yeah. Dude, if you take Rogaine, you're gonna look like Cousin It in <laughs> like a week. <laughs> yeah. Mm. All right, well. Yeah, that's, a, that's a genuine PNG right there. Uh, How do you tell if it's a Photoshop I, I, or not? Metadata? I, I don't know. Yeah, what is this? No, group? I mean, that is the name that comes out when you screenshot it from Premiere. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes. God sure. forbid you could change the name of the file. You could have, yeah. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> could have brought a frame into Premiere and screenshotted it from there, too. I'm afraid it may right not right. be. I'm afraid it may not be Photoshopped. Which is, you know, a, hard, a bitter pill to swallow, my friends. Wow. Bottom line, you're still the hairline king. I mean, there's no denying that. Are you sure? Yes, we're fucking sure. I don't know. I've seen some good hairlines lately. Like, um, we looked at Jason Nash. Turns out he has an incredible hairline. Somebody pointed out. Yeah, I mean, I'm, look at this shit, bro. Who the fuck has beautiful hair like that at his, his old age? But it's combed forward. We need to get a total hairline. Mm. It's those... also going back in the same place that yours was. Right. right. Well, that's the Unless, classic yeah. receding spot. Right. But we so gotta... nobody's nobody's perfect, perfect. Right. Of hairline king. Besides, hold on. Let's take a look at Jason Nash's yeah, hairline. That doesn't. He actually that. does have a really nice hairline, but again, it's combed forward. Like Jason is, he's got that TikTok fuckboy cut. <laughs> he there. I don't think he's. He doesn't have a better hairline than me. He might. No. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh my God! Look at this man. Look at this man here. Wow. It does. Would you believe it? It's, it's a Friday, Friday once again. <laughs> yeah. The Maybe man. that grows the hair. Maybe you got to start doing that, Ethan. Daily weather report? Yeah, on like NPR or some shit. <laughs> well, there it is, okay? Let's not talk about it anymore for now. 
No swirls in the chat, goddammit. King? Yeah, King. so moving on, uh, there's that. I'm taking a lot of heat. And then there's also a lot that took place uh, with the cats. I may, I've said, I don't even remember what I said. Well, people were not down with it. You said, I, just, uh, I just said I'm not a fan of cats. Yeah, and that's a problem. No, I'm, not I'm, well, I'm not the only one. You know why I think that? Blame Hassan, not me. Look at this shit. I didn't say anything this bad. Time and time again, I'll be petting a fucking cat, and then cat will decide, I no longer want to be pet. Literally going from purring to fucking trying to rip my fingers off. Bro, that's what I'm saying, dude. Cat owners are so psychotic, dude. Cat owners are so psychotic. They're like, oh, you didn't respect the cat enough. How am I supposed to know what the fuck? You're literally, you're doing it. You're victim blaming. You're victim blaming. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Those were Hassan's words, not mine. Yeah, but, you know, I've seen a lot of cat memes on the subreddit. And, um, it got, I mean, listen, it got me feeling bad. I clearly offended a lot of people. Oh, God. <laughs> Fish for HG to partner with a local <laughs> shelter and bring cats in for me to play with. Oh my god. Let's get like 30 kittens in here. Yeah, you guys are just watching me die. This one really didn't help. <laughs> what the fuck? Kimi has two eyes, a lot of teeth, and dickhead personality. He's the sweetest and has never clawed me once. What's up? What's up, Kim Cat? Kim Cussy. What is the what's with this sexy cat? Is that from the cats movie? I, I have <laughs> conflicted emotions about this. I photo. don't think this was a costume featured in the film. I think there's just a whole genre. I think, yeah, this is sexy, so fetish. But that's what I'm saying. Cats People online. like cats, but they also want to fuck cats. Explain that. Well, you could say the same thing about a dog. Yeah, there's. In fact, I think that's that's a bigger trend. Is it? Yeah. I thought the cat thing, Never. the cat girl. Dude, cat, there, cat there's so much big... like dog yes. porn, like dog person porn out there, so real. like all the J furry porn and stuff. NBR. Well, we should really ask Shane Dawson about this. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, any, at any rate, if you want to fuck him, if you want to pet him, listen, it's none of my business. Why are you so cute when you talk shit? But, there's that one. <laughs> God, uh, you come to me and disrespect my family. I know it was oh my you, God, Fredo. look at that cat. The God cat. Yeah. This is the one that turned me, you know, I saw this Aww. one. I immediately started apologizing. Willow. On Willow has one eye, no teeth, and constantly wants human cuddles. She's the sweetest, has never clawed me once. This cat slander must stop. Yeah, I, I do apologize to Willow. Okay. There's a lot of them. I'm very sorry. This one, Ethan about to catch these paws. That one scared me. And this man uh, has a pup and a kitty. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, so I got a lot of heat. And I'm just... It's a big-ass cat. Blood Holy hell. shit. Right? Huge. Okay, I'm not crazy. I had to hold him back when you heard Ethan slander. Could this cat, like, protect your home <laughs> from the That's fucking Garfield, dude. Someone's <laughs> got to call Joe Exotic. I mean, them cats, big cats. cats can scrap, so I'm just wondering yeah. if we can train them to protect us. Dude, that cat had an evil eye on. I'm afraid of that cat. This big one? Yeah. Yo, dude. I'll fuck you up. Yo, don't mention me to this cat, whoever you are. Anyway, yeah, I apologize. Our whole subreddit has just been inundated with cat posts, and um, I guess I should pull up the the podium. I mean, even Cam is joining the the look, pile on. Look, I miss him. This is from last night. This is my precious little baby angel. Look at that. Look at that. I didn't say they're not cute. I just said they're not for me. Okay. One sec. Is this thing all set up? Oh, come on, you guys. That's not right. <laughs> Here I am getting gang banged by a bunch of cat lovers. Or cats themselves. 
I apologize to the cats, of course. You are worthy of love. You are great pets. Even if Excuse? you do cause brain infections. <coughs> Toxoplasmosis. Look it up. That's just a fact, Dan. Do, do you know what dogs cause? Mauled throats. Mauled throats? Yeah. Yo, take my throat before my brain. What are you talking about, Dan? What do you mean, what am I talking about? Dog attacks. It's a common thing. That's I've never lie. seen one. I never heard of it. You've never heard of a How dog many, attack? Oh, Google this, A.B. How many cat owners have toxoplasmosis? It's like 90%, dude. This is literally it like Seems like it's not a big deal then, right? Because there's a lot of... They don't know. <laughs> this is like watching a cat and a dog fight right now between you two. They don't know. But that's just a fact. That's not... I'm not expressing an opinion about cats. I'm not saying I don't like them. That's just a fact, guys. Okay, and if we don't have facts, what do we have? This is the worst. Fact. Facts don't care about your feelings, Dan. This is the worst apology. Fact. I'm not. I didn't start made. my apology yet. I'm just spitting facts, you know. Ab, what'd you find? Seeing that 15 to 14. I'm sorry, 15 to 40 percent have it, but uh, I'm trying to find out how it's many. It's a big humans. number. It's totally unproven that it has some negative impact on people. They just too, don't know way. enough, Dan. Exactly. But you know what I do know? Not a Rottweiler. Rip your Rottweiler. fucking face off. Okay, no, no, no. I grew up with a Rottweiler. Sweetest dog I'm not ever. saying there can't okay, be wait. sweet. Of course Guys, guys, sweet. guys. This is a moment of healing. This is not what I meant for this to happen. So even though they may cause brain infections, <laughs> that we don't have enough research to draw a conclusion about one way or the other, but we do know it causes mouses in their brains to go kill themselves so that cats can eat them. Good thing I'm not a mouse. But at, but at any rate, what we do when we do want to do clinical trials on humans, what do we use, Dan? Mouses. Thank you. So anyway, <sighs> rats technically. Okay. So anyway, they are very cute. They're wonderful pets. I apologize to all the cat owners out there that I may have offended. I don't remember exactly what I said, but. Uh, for those of you guys who found the vlog to be offensive, I'm sorry you did. For those of you who didn't find it to be offensive, I'm sorry they did. What he said. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say, guys. I mean, I listen, I, I'll stop it. I didn't make that cat cry. <laughs> Theodore loves cats. He wants a cat. But I'm afraid that because he's so young and the door gets open, the cat can run out. And coyotes, we have a ton of coyotes in our neighborhood. And it could the cat could die. So I'm open to owning a cat. I'd like to own a cat, but we're just not at the time and place. It's a little what? A little stuff. Theodore opens and closes the door all the time. The cat's gonna run outside. Your you have you have two small side. dogs, and honestly, a cat is more equipped to get away from a coyote than a dog. They'll just climb a tree. But won't a cat leave our yard and go wander around? You guys live in a safe neighborhood. Safe how? There's coyotes everywhere all the time. It'll be fine. Dan is he Dan wants cats to die. I don't. <laughs> Who hates cats now? Anyway, peace and love, peace and love. <laughs> Wonderful apology. Well done. All right. See I see I am remorseful. I can make good apologies. You don't think that's a problem? It scares me that the if I get a cat and it dies, I mean that would be horrific. No, of course that would be horrible. That that this is my favorite cat, by the way. Oh, Ruben. I know, when I saw this, I was like, oh, this cat is a fooper trooper. I can't, I can't think a bad thought about that kitty. So there's that. We're getting stuff out of the way. Animals die! Uh, hopefully not. That's what I'm trying to, to I prevent. think Dan should apologize. For what? For uh, putting a hard line over Rottweils. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like that, Whoa, Dan. Oh, you fucked I up. I love dog. Listen. I'm not the one that's hating on a precious little animal. Damn, I love dogs. You just yes, said you dogs were. are dangerous. They're objectively more dangerous to humans than a cat. A cat will scratch you. Oh no. Well, a dog it, can literally kill you. Are you talking about? I'm not saying all an in a scratch like because my dogs have never hurt me, but cats hurt me like regularly with a scratch. Well, your dogs are like little, little toys. Can, I've been around all kinds animals. of dogs, can, Dan. Okay, can, what can about what about Wallace? His parents, dog, his parents' dog has literally <laughs> bitten me on the ankle until I was bleeding. Wallace, that, that dog is so scary. Yeah, he bit me too, actually. Can you There's just no say, can you just say sorry to Rottweilers? 
Apologize. Yeah, I love Rottweilers. Okay. I apologize. Okay, okay, never sorry, good. Rottweilers. Aww. No, no, no. See, look at this. No, no, no. I love doggy. Don't say it like that. Say I it like you mean doggy. it. I do. I love Alfredo. Say I'm sorry to Rottweilers. I'm sorry to Rottweilers. They're great. They're great pets. I have no problem with Rottweilers. I'm no. just saying a, a Rottweiler can kill you. It has that ability. Whereas a little cat is what's the, what's the worst that's gonna happen? But to be fair, you train the animal to kill. So I, I think you could you, boy, you could off. train the cat to kill. We're not passing judgment on any breeds here. I'm just stating a fact that a dog has the ability to hurt you I mean, in so a serious does, so, way. So does everyone in the, us, this office. What is potential for her pain? It means nothing. Right. And we have enemies everywhere. AB all could around. kill you right now. He I could know. choke you out. I know. But does he? No. Well, I think AB would be the one that's choking, but... I mean... <laughs> what? I mean, AB's oh. the most trained in combat. Yes, Exer, shut up. <laughs> to come. Yeah, yeah. All right, enough. We we love all animals. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, also, want to give a quick shout out this this guy, Sugar Hill Rugs. I love this stuff, man. These like artisan rugs, they are so clean. He sent us some rugs, dude. These are so sick. Like, look at this Poco Rosa one, and or the Mi Marikashi one, or whatever. Takashi. So clean. Where's the um, Teddy Fresh one he sent he's us? Holding it up right now. Or he was. Now he's holding up the podcast one. Dude, look how clean that is. How did he do it? So sick. Yeah, so I want to give a shout out to Sugar Hill Rugs. <laughs> I want more rugs, dude. Talk to me. I want to get a big one from you. Of uh, of Howie's prolapsed anus. Can we commemorate that in a rug oh form? Oh my god! Yes, I want that. Dude, just massive in our office all the time. Yes, I love That's that. That's horrific. I, and just like uh, picture perfect. You want me to ask him? I'm curious what no. he says. I'm a little curious. I mean, how funny would that be for Howie's life? We legacy? have to have that. That'd be yeah. so fucking Ooh. Howie. I'll spend whatever it takes, man. Okay, I'll see if he can do something. You know, speaking of Howie's prolapse, on my mission to never let this die, it's actually taken a life on its own. Howie finally got uh, poked and prodded into talking about it. Check this out. So... Uh, Joel McHale was on Howie's podcast, and somebody on the crew venue is to flashes the prolapse on screen, and it's so good because Howie gets genuinely upset, and Joel just wants to know what the fuck was that, and so the memory of this <laughs> prolapse lives on, and this is this is what I love. Watch Tuck. this. <laughs> That's it. Hey, people make a lot of money doing that. Oh. Um making a fortune a fortune that's great why does he say it like that how much is howie making on tiktok that took me by surprise yeah i wasn't sure if he was being ironic he might be, he might be in our yeah. yeah it might be ironic. howie's super rich so i was like a fortune what the hell okay maybe he's joking yeah. i have a tiktok account but i've never actually made one well maybe uh during this or after this episode we'll dance okay yeah we'll find out what dance is, is that trending. what you do that's how my you... dad's really good at tiktoks i dance i'm not don't say that. <laughs> Why not? Why can't she say that? <laughs> hey, that's perfectly fine. Hey, 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 no. So somebody threw it up, okay, and then Howie panics, which I love, love, love. No. Mm -mm. Is no. That, is that a druther? No. Is that what a druther is? No. 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 He specifically is said is that, that a rabbit he doesn't dish? want to bring it up. He specifically said You can said see it in the reflection on the right. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yeah, I we'll just noticed. Okay. Wait, let me see. You'll see a big patch of red appear, and really then he's, said. like, scrolling around. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can see how he's dumb. And the red, the <laughs> the, uh, the trademark red background. He specifically yep. said he doesn't want to bring that up. Who did that? We'll edit that. Okay. Anyway. Did you have your anus prolapsed at some point? Did something happen? Was it during a TikTok dance? We'll talk about it later. Put a, we'll put one up. We'll put one up. But uh, Oh, no. Put up the uh, anus again. That's no. Funny. Put up the one wheel. <laughs> <laughs> put up one wheel prolapse. There it is. <laughs> yeah, put a put a video there. You see, <laughs> when does this air? Pardon me. No, we don't know. We don't. When does this air? When does this air? Oh, Do if you're listening to it or you're watching it on YouTube uh, right, right now. now. Yeah. 
Okay. Oh, you're watching it now. You were showing that prolapse anus live? No. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> that was shown on the screen, and now I can't talk about it? No. No, because no. the person that put it up on the screen is, gonna, <laughs> is going to pass away. Who did that? Who Howie did it? posted it, did it, not live. I love it. Alex. Are they going to blame is it on Alex? Oh, so, so, so he was pointing to just, Alex is my homie. You know, we had a little bit of a tiff, but we're dogs now. And I consider this a public service, basically. This is, he's, done, he's doing this for me. Yeah. So we're dogs for life. Mm -hmm. uh, me and Alex are dogs for life. If you ever need anything from me, but, dude, let me fucking know. Anytime, anything. What do we do about it? I'm available to you, my dude. Legend. Walex. W. Alex. Walex. Oh, I think it was. <laughs> what is that? Becky was talking about how terrible you are at, at TikTok. I actually said he was really good at TikTok. Oh, oh, and then someone said you weren't or whatever. Whatever it was. And then I figured, it, you know what? You should talk about it. It's a clip. Thank you. You, say, you screwed up. And we, you know. He wants it to Thank go you, bro. That's well, he, what I keep saying. And do it on our show, not yours. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it's the internet. Yeah, it'll never go away, but no. I think you should celebrate so it. So understanding that, why would you put it up? I, I told everyone here, don't show it. Just let them see it. And then that's... You could either talk about it or you don't. Like you say, if you have something you have an idea for, we could always edit. This isn't live. I but made a mistake, but you're bringing up a. He bad, said it was live. That it's live on YouTube right now. It's no. Live on YouTube. I, th I think you should talk about it. And we could decide later. Yes. Listen to I your don't son. Want to talk about listen to about your son, Howie. You can't avoid this any longer. <laughs> We're forcing this moment to its crisis. W. Alex. Walex. Howie, you must discuss the prolapse. He keeps dodging, by the way. Wham. So the door, the door is still open to you, my friend. But it is what got me in trouble. <laughs> okay. I, you posted a TikTok that came back to bite you, is what you're saying. Yeah. Or somebody said, I didn't like that, and you responded to that person? <laughs> I didn't respond. No. I took it down. He's been... He, he... It was an made offensive it, He has made it very TikTok? clear <laughs> that he does not want to respond or talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always... What part of that that you don't understand? <laughs> I, sometimes you want things to... You know what? When I started in this business, if I made a mistake, it would go away. Well, yeah, and, because and there now were if I make silent a mistake, movies back then, and no one... Not that know. old. Yeah, pretty old. Anyway, I have some stuff that I... I've made some mistakes recently. So you've, you said you've made multiple mistakes recently. No, I said I made a big mistake recently. You know what makes oh, this right. better is just... That he's so ashamed or embarrassed by it, that's what makes it so good. If he just owned it and laughed about it, this wouldn't even be a thing. It's the, it's the dodging, okay, that makes this so fucking fantastic. Nothing. And the prolapse, and the prolapse. Yeah, and the prolapse. All right. And uh, on the internet. You posted a TikTok that was, a, that was problematic. Yes. Okay. And does anybody talk about it now? <laughs> What is this conversation? Me. No, no, no. Because it became a thing here in this room Me. with the people you would, with all these white people you employ. Oh, but shit. But as you know, these things go away very quickly, especially if they're not a not, big deal. Not me, not and me. And more especially when they're not spoken about. Nope. I won't speak about this till I oh. die. By the way, pretty interesting that he's like, what's the deal? Why doesn't this go away? Can I take, can I own that personally? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, okay, good. You've been spreading the good word, like, good. on other I mean, shows. This is, yeah, 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 for yeah, sure. Yeah. This is the gospel. <sighs> or when you shine, put it in the light. No, this then, should not be in the light anymore. What the hell did you do in this dance? That was, was it the prolapsed anus dance? Wait, did you put that in a TikTok? <laughs> that is so great. It is. That's what I'm saying. You could have owned it, Howard. Be the prolapse. Become the prolapse. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. This is staying in. This is staying <laughs> This is not that... I feel like it's not that controversial. It's not. It's. I mean, it's not really. It's Nothing. Not. Is it? <laughs> go, go on the internet. You By yourself, after this. You go search I the internet. I can't touch his phone. No, not here. Yeah, here's the PG version, by the way, that we've uh, made that was so that we can share this on our show. And, um, well. 
There it is. You guys can use this image. It's safe for work anytime, anywhere to commemorate this. Okay, I, here's what I want to say. I usually am uh, w relatively aware of things that are happening. Okay. Not today. Uh, but <laughs> this is the first time I've ever heard of this. Okay. Good. Not the last. So, guys, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Okay. When you don't talk about it. Uh, this, the, this is the problem. This is like saying, yes. you know, like, well, you know, effect, grandma, Howie. she had been a prostitute until she met your grandpa. And be like, well, okay, I don't know, but what? <laughs> Where's he going with that? Well, we can, look, it's what fine. We... And let's talk about it. Let's bring it out. Oh, you have you're a saying... grandparent that was a prostitute? Yeah, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this I thought was pretty great. This is the closest we've got to him actually discussing Venue it. Venue is TikTok. This was also posted, oh, it was posted twice? No. Yeah, and what's interesting about this, Howie, is if you search Howie uh, Mendel, let's see what happens. I heard that the top news article, yeah, check this out. Of course, we've clicked it. Howie Mandel prolapse video shocks the internet. <laughs> news week. <laughs> I mean, it shocks the internet. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah, see, it's not even that far up here. If you put TikTok, the first one that come, came up for me was okay. how Howie's TikTok. Well, what was it? You may not want to know. Okay, I said Howie Mandel TikTok. Oh shit, the first Terrible. result is Howie Mandel TikTok prolapse full video. <laughs> and then discover Howie Mandel prolapse video popular videos. I'd like to discover that. <laughs> what was Howie Mandel's deleted TikTok video? <laughs> Howie Mandel's TikTok shocked the internet. <laughs> Howie Mandel traumatizes TikTok with now deleted video. <laughs> Howie Mandel's deleted TikTok at 5 a.m. <laughs> It's interesting to see how they all try to put some sensational, you know, twist what do we on do it. About yeah, it. it's like a J Station title. But the, the truth is the reality itself is so good, it doesn't need any. Mm -hmm. It's probably the greatest thing to happen to the internet in the past 10 years. I think it's up there, sure. Yeah. Right up there with Fortnite. Fortnite. Ah. Somebody, somebody suggested a, uh, a website. Um, HowieMandelProlapse.com. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'll do it. Oh my God, we could totally SEO that shit, bro. Should we do it? But the, I, but oh, that, I don't you're, know. Your dogs with Howie. I think that yeah, would cross the line into like genuinely, like, yeah, 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 hurting his no, reputation. No, I, I, I don't want to do anything mean. Okay, to I will not do it. No, don't, don't, don't. I mean, we probably could sell it to him, blackmailing him now. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not. No, no. We can't do that. We have to save that power for. When we really need to inform the public about something yeah. urgent and interesting and of public concern. <laughs> Speaking of which, if you guys want to head on over to Google, type in Ryan Kavanaugh. It's been a while since we've done this. Interesting. Ryan Kavanaugh is the guy, of course, that's suing us. Drive angry. Drive angry. <laughs> and if you go down, oh man, we've dropped off quite a bit here. Um, but here it is. It's all, it's still all here. Uh, a comprehensive analysis. Yeah. So, do we have anything new here on the website, Love? No, just the same old. Very informative, though. I wonder if we could, um... We gotta update this so that people, you know... Oh, this... Well, this one's... This is a good video. And that is. Brian Kavanaugh is a force of nature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How Ryan Kavanaugh failed to deliver a million dollars to charity. Right, exactly. All that and more. $3 million. Yeah, so guys, Google Ryan Kavanaugh. Go check out this website. Uh, educate yourself. Thank you. So I don't know. This Howie meme keeps on giving. you got to see the TikTok I just dropped from him from three hours ago. I dropped it in uh, Discord there. And by the way, I'll, I'll open it. By the way, speaking of Ryan Kavanaugh and Howie, I talked about this, right? That they know, well, they know each other a little bit. Yeah, how he uh, sold his house yeah. to Ryan Kavanaugh. How oh, interesting. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Ethan, Elon, the crew. My father passed away last month, and grief is kicking my ass. The goofs and gaffs have entertained me through the sleepless nights. Ethan is the funniest mf -er, in my opinion. Well, thank you. You all bring me joy. Thank you, Sarah. I'm sorry you're going through that, but 
We will be here for you. We will be here. Thank you for the kind message. Hi. What the fuck? All right, here's Howie's new shit. Do I need to mute this? Yeah, it sounded like... Zach's got it. Uh, it's more the did... visuals. Oh, Howie's pretending <laughs> that it's him? Okay. That's, good. that's pretty good. All right. Yeah, that's not bad. It's reminiscent of his greatest hit. It is prolapse. Oh, it is oh, prolapse. Yeah. You're right. It is prolapse-ish. Actually, if you pause it at the right minute, like here, <laughs> it, it looks a lot like it. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> shout out to uh, Howie. We love you. And especially big thanks to Alex. Walex, W. Alex. Okay, we're going to do our break. So I know you guys don't can't handle the Jimmy Lee stuff, but this war is actually going. It's escalated, the war mm -hmm. between Jimmy Lee and Arab World News. Uh, so, I mean, there's a lot to report. Arab World News dropped a full-out diss video on Jimmy. So this man, he's sweet, but don't, don't cross him. He'll bite you. Arab World News, please clap versus audio, audio, audio. <laughs> what a fucking guy. He's a meme lord. Well, four minutes of pure warfare. Love that. So let's thank our, our thank Honey real fast. We have one sponsor and then we'll get into all that. Uh, thank you, thank you to Honey. Yes. Today's episode is sponsored by Honey, the easy way to save when shopping on your iPhone or computer. I love Honey. I have it on all my browsers. So does Ela. Ela is consistently saving money. She's always buying shit. And luckily with Honey installed, G Fuel. Yeah, that one's from Love. So you, oh, you pay for G Fuel? Love does. Yeah. That one's from me. Yeah. Oh, it's from Cam. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yo, thirty percent off. That's insane. I bought this one right here, in a, in a pack. Yeah. I've probably spent, uh, like, saved hundreds of dollars with honey on G Fuel. Yeah. Thank you, honey. It's 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 almost too good to be true, but it's not. It literally just scours the internet for the best coupon code available at checkout and automatically applies it at checkout. You don't have to do anything. Just install the Honey app, which is basically just two clicks on the app store and it's you're good to go it just passively works in the background you don't even have to think about it dude yeah um honey also doesn't just work on desktops now it works on your iphone too you can activate it on safari on your phone and save on the go if you don't already have honey you are straight up missing out on savings and by getting it you'll be doing yourself a solid as well as supporting this show I use honey. I love honey. I think everybody here uses honey. I don't know who's not using honey. Use honey. It's crazy. I would never recommend this if I didn't use it. Well, I do. Get honey for free at joinhoney.com slash h3. That's joinhoney.com slash h3. Thank you. Thank you. With peace and love. Peace and love, honey. This is a serious message. Yes, yeah, so we actually have a lot of things. I'm wondering what's the best way to organize this time-wise. Because I want to make sure we get to the parents' game. And also we have this huge Triller lawsuit thing I want to get to. Maybe we'll just do a monster episode today. I don't know. It's just so much to get to. The Addison Ray Bikini thing. You know. Blasphemy. Oh, and of course David Dubrick. Right. But let's finish, I guess. Uh, so, guys. Just trust me, this is good. Jimmy Lee versus Arab World News. This is the battle that nobody asked for, but here it is. We have to. We have to observe this. Please, my comedian legion to Jimmy, give me something funny about you. British? You look British with the teeth. No, I'm Mexican. You're Mexican? Yeah. <laughs> Don't take anything from table 37. Leave. <laughs> Work with me. We're gonna try it right now. Follow me. Turn around, Zach, and do your stick. Do your do your catchphrase. Work with me. Let's try it again. 
Right. Yo, he burned him with that little <laughs> shit. He's right. Nobody's laughing. Nobody's though. laughing. And he gives a thumbs up in the corner. You see that? Dude, Jimmy, you're getting fucking owned by Arab World News. But I got to not do full screen because you can see his reactions here in the corner, which is important. Yeah. He's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. Reaction. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. Thanks for all love and support from my H3 family. Love you forever. Love you forever, bro. Comedian star Jimmy mocked me and my beautiful camel. Yeah. So please clap to my camel. Please again. You know, just clap your hand back, back. What can I do with my comedian Jimmy? I will make him laugh little like he uh, draws smile on our faces much. So I am the king now. Listen to me. <laughs> I hope you hear me okay and nothing is wrong with... <laughs> Your mic. Audio, audio, oh, yeah, got him. You have my audio. Where is he? You have audio. In Egypt, we have a beautiful camels, especially in the pyramids and the Santa Catherine. I invite you visit Egypt and see our handsome camels. I think <laughs> you will like it. I will give you the one like this as a gift. <laughs> 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 Yo! He's got the stunk camel waiting for your ass, Jimmy. What the fuck is up? Al, Lemmy. <laughs> Lemmy. Arab, camel here and watching you now. <laughs> we, need we need to call Arab World News Arab W News now. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Egypt, come in your bowl. Camels love the bowl. Personality disorder. <laughs> That's it, old lamb. Uh, oh, oh, Woo. thank you. That's what I'm Woo. <laughs> All right, I'm home. <laughs> good makeup, but say goodbye to your hairline as I did with Trump. <laughs> What's he, what, what, what's he say? What, you, what did he say? He said goodbye to your hairline like I did with Trump. Um, that's in reference to he had a video posted the other day making fun of Trump, and he used a bald filter and put it on. Oh, okay, okay. On, so that, that's for fans of, of his show. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. a callback. It's a callback. Okay. <laughs> Yo, I haven't seen that Bingo. one. Oh. Bingo! <laughs> Bingo! 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 No, no. Bingo! Try. Bingo! You say all time, bingo, bingo, bingo. <laughs> so, what is the meaning of the bingo? A lot. <laughs> 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 is it prepared speaking Arabic, Lena? It sounded yeah. like Arabic. Yeah. But it was weird. I don't know. You want Should I go back? Yeah. You want to try to catch that? Yeah, play, yeah play let's play hear it again. it again. Okay. <laughs> you hear it? Is that what he said? And I heard Yahayuan. Yeah, yeah, animal. You animal. You animal. Oh, you animal. Yeah. Oh. Owned. Yeah. Next. You ever want to really piss off <laughs> someone Owned. from overseas? Owned. Next. Who speaks Arabic? Say Yahayuan. Owned. Oh, and then this, well, this parrot is talking to the H3 family, so, uh, let me know if you hear something, Lena. You're so cute! Hey! No, that one's just Dan, giving a kiss. And you're getting your shirts next week, and I even got one for Dan, who hates me. I really do. <laughs> he included this, not I didn't see that. Only people will not like you if you continue in this way. Mm. You must respect the other people in your Damn, country, he did deep research. You will lose oh my god, that's from friends. the. I wanna say, 
This man oh, has done his research. That's the old age three video. And actually, he's skewering him, and we're, he's on the same page as us. He's saying, yo, bro, you got to change. Yeah. That's where I'm at. Reaching at the top is easy, but keeping at the top is so hardest, so you can choose. Anyway, at the end of the video, please give me your feedback and the way many surprises for you. Thank you. Surprises all around, baby. Jimmy's done. Jimmy's career's over. Yeah, Don't. Ended, he ended him. Jimmy Ross. Wham. Rossi. What's his name? Steve Ross. Steve Rossi. Rossi just fired Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> He's warning you with peace and love. No more camel jokes. Thank you. Thank you. You can't spell Lee without L. L. Fucking mm -hmm. L. He also posted this one. Uh, He's preparing for war against Jimmy. He said, he says, Dear great comedian Jimmy Lee, you are really dangerous. You made Arab world news wake up for 24 hours without sleep. Whoa. Well, it seems like he did put a lot of research and work into that. That's true. For this, uh, this is for a video I'm preparing about you, starting with writing the video script. Then the difficult step is the process of searching and searching and choosing the proper memes and filming as well as editing and editing. The most difficult out of all this is language. I'm doing it on my own to make the H3 family happy. Thanks for all the brothers who helped. So my H3 family wait and enjoy this crazy, hilarious video. It was worth the wait. It was worth the wait. Arab W News, ladies and gentlemen. Shout wow. out to Ahmed. Dude, is that his name, Ahmed? Ahmed. Is that, is that how you say Ahmed or Ahmed? I think it's just Ahmed. It's A-H-M-E-D, Ahmed. Ahmed. Yeah, Ahmed. Uh, you know, I mean, I mean, Ahmed. Hey, Lena, how do we say it? Ahmed. Ahmed. Lena's dad. Okay. Ahmed. Lena's dad is. Ahmed. Am I putting yeah, too much? Yeah, that's my dad's name. Am I putting too much stink on the H? A lot of people do. Yeah, not a lot of people can okay. say. Non-native speakers can't really say Ahmed. Ahmed. Or they mm -hmm. overemphasize Ahmed. It's like, where are you getting the H from? I think it's well in Hebrew. That's kind of what that mm. sounds like. That kind of situation. Not, I wasn't calling you out. I just meant. No, I, I get it. You know, just be more sensitive next time. <laughs> <laughs> it is a syllable that is not common in English to yeah. emphasize that H so much. So, yeah, if Jimmy has any thoughts, he can text you, but he can't call in, okay, Zach? Got it. Yeah, we need to curate him. So, um, oh, my God, you guys, you guys are not going to want to miss this update. So, we got a hold of Seaman. We had the ninja foot pick that was right up his alley. And we said, man, we got to send this to C-Man. We, we couldn't believe what we were seeing. And Dan, you worded it like I said, and he got right back to you, didn't he? Uh, yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. I think I worded it a little different than how you put oh, it. Oh, God. But... I, just, I didn't want to scare him away. You didn't. He responded immediately, bro. It wasn't immediate, but, but he did get back to me, like, the next day. Here's what Seaman said about those. He said, and this is for Ninja if you're watching, not bad, but he's <laughs> wearing flips, so I find that a turnoff. Did. But would be hot to see them hit the pedals. Yes, they are hot. Yep. And then he sent a follow up one. Yeah, like a few minutes later, he there was says, a second message. He says, can we see him barefoot and in socks too? So he's actually, he wants more. He wants more? And in fact, Maybe I can ask Ninja if he can send us these. <laughs> <laughs> We've got that in now. Yeah, we're buddies. We squashed the beef. I'm just going to say, I know this is weird, but yeah. how, do I, how do I broach that with him to try to get it from him? That's a lot of lore to, <laughs> to just dump on somebody. I, I don't know. I would say, say, yo, this sounds weird, but can I get a picture of you on your doing your pedals without flip-flops, one with flip-flops and one with socks? No, barefoot, I mean. Right. That's doable. I'm going to see. I'm going to see. I'm going to try to explain this to him and tell him it's important. For it's an you're going to DM him? I'll do it right now. Uh, I think it would be easier after the 100 gifted subs that we pledged. Uh, maybe we Did can ask it afterwards, you know. <laughs> what was that sound bite, Zach? Did <laughs> What happened? Why, why? Why did we shorten it to fit? <laughs> it's just that's how he gets through stuff. It's but, the shortest possible version. Get, did, get, 
He's actually saying thank you for the gifted right there. Gifted. But... Gifted. Did. Five gifted. Did. Five gifted. Did. Gifted. Thank you for the gifted. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do my Prime. best. It just. Prime. Wait, is this real? Like, did is this it... just come through from Jidian? Well, you can click it and see if it's real. I did. Can you? I, I did. It's real. It, it is real. Mm -hmm. Jidian said, "Hey, Ethan, when you're done with this segment, could I please join to say some words?" Uh, yeah. You didn't have to donate though. I followed you on Twitter so that. W Dan. You could DM me if you wanted. Oh, he did DM me. He said, Man. "Hey, Ethan, that thumbnail question was made by." My clips editor. I literally don't upload or run my second channel. He's changing it now. Peace and blessings. That was. Uh, I even threw that out as a theory that it probably wasn't him. And so. I'm well, we we, that. we there was some because he had commented on the video. Oh. We were like, well. Eh, but I know. I believe him that his uh, editor made it. Yeah. When. I mean, we have the same setup here. And Love makes the the highlight clips and stuff. So. Well, yeah, but. You gotta chill. So you gotta have some standards and policies yeah. there. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, he's I, uh, changing it though. Okay, uh, Widian yeah. W. Wan. Widian. Wan. Wan. Widian. <laughs> so sh so Wan I'm down to I, I'm down to have him on though, just to squash the two beefs in one day. That would be that would be strong. Two beefs, one cup. So um, do you? <laughs> yes. Do you? How do we reach you, Widian? Or um, I mean, we have the Zoom. Just give me the link and I'll I'll could, send it to him. Yeah, I could do that. W Dan. <laughs> yeah, Jidian is this YouTuber. We talked about him on Monday. He uh, he said that I'm a liberal racist. And in the thumbnail, it put text a text bubble of me saying, this guy looks like a orangutan or some shit like that, which obviously I never said. I uh, just uh, sent it in our WhatsApp group if you want to pass that along. So I was like, man, that, that seems kind of fucked up to put that out there. Um... So here, but I got it. Wait, where'd you put it, Dan? W. Where'd In you our uh, WhatsApp group. Oh, so I'm gonna anyway. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send him the link. So, oh, uh, uh, Widian, if you want to join, here's the Zoom link. You can you can connect. Okay. Here, I'm sending it to you on Twitter. Twitter DM. Okay. There you go. Very nice, though. I appreciate that. You know, I appreciate that. That he's changing the thumbnail and an apology. That's that's good. That's nice. Yeah. So I'm gonna work on getting those foot foot picks from uh from Ninja though. I think there's a way. Did should I tell him that it's for a foot fetishist or or just kind of be like yeah? I feel this. like it's. I don't want to be the party pooper here, but it's it's a little weird. Like there's a lot of bro. It's funny. I. I'm not denying that it's funny, but to like go to Ninja and be like, "Hey, we sent a picture of your foot to this guy that masturbates to feet, and he said it's really hot. Can you send us more pictures?" Like that's just seems maybe a little far. Wait, is this the new thumbnail? Uh, look at him act like an educated African American. Now, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. That's still kind of weird, bro. Isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to ask him yourself? He's in the chat, or he's in the lobby right now. Oh, I got to pee so bad. Let me just run to the bathroom, bring him in. I'm just going to run to the bathroom so we can have a... I don't have to worry about this. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> bring him in, Dan. I'll bring him in when he gets back. Yeah. <laughs> when? Uh, blah, blah, blah. W. Dan. I'm looking through some of these donos. There's JDNs. Uh, the Sarah one we already read. Prolapse penguins we already shouted out. We didn't shout out Monday's dark Ethan, which appears to be our Saudi prince. So thank you for the thank you for the fifty gifted. Tit. Listen to Short People by Randy Newman. It's an insane song. <laughs> There's lots of good sound bites. I I am very aware of that song. Um, Randy I've Newman. My wife on our honeymoon. No Gideon. No Gideon. No Gideon. Guys, I mean. We can talk to people, all right? Gideon is Dan's you know? bestie. Y'all better hold back. Yeah. Bite your tongue. Don't talk about him like that. Stand up. Stand up for Gideon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's content, right? I mean, whether whatever you think about him, it's content. It's fun. It's content, it's baby. Entertainment. It's entertainment, dude. Uh, it's my birthday. I'm 22. I'm related to Helen Keller. 
I am so sorry to hear that. Wait. Sorry about that. Happy I'm birthday. so sorry about it. Happy birthday. <laughs> I don't know yeah, about I'll you, really but... Sorry about your we won't, we won't hold the sins of your ancestors against you. Yeah. I don't know about you, but you're feeling 22, my friend. For reals. <laughs> hey, Dan. I got a new boyfriend. Well, congratulations, Goofman. <laughs> Shout out, Goofman. Shout out. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Just please don't get another strike. I'm not going to get another strike. It's yeah. all good. It's all good, baby. Um... Mary just said, donated $20, said, I just passed my N NC Lex. I'm not sure what that is. I'm officially a registered nurse. That's what it is. I bring, bring him Thanks for the yay. Are I they talking about ban nursing. invasion? Is that what they're worried about? What? Is he? No, he's not banned. Oh, okay. They lifted the one okay. strike that was. Yeah, yeah. Hey, bring, bring him on. Let's talk. All right, talk. here we go. Stand back. This is our Sam Cedar moment. Yeah, so, that's what I was gonna say, love. <laughs> well, you think he's gonna like blast me with? <clears throat> I'm, we'll see. I'm, Hello. I have a... You didn't even play me like that, would you? Uh, he's there. I see he, his I heard audio. You say hello. It doesn't look like his video's coming through yet, though. Gideon is joining us. Man. I heard his voice a second ago. Yeah, I heard him say hello. I mean, who could he bring out that would even? That I would even care to Team Star, but that would be epic. I literally We'd be would be so talk excited. To <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, it's not that big of a deal. That rule. Yeah. Um, Gideon is trying to set up. He is a Twitch streamer, which is Orwell. A YouTube. Did was he banned on Twitch? Is that yes. Yeah, he's a streamer that doesn't know how to turn on his mic and video. I mean, he probably is used to using Discord. He's maybe just figuring it out right now. I guess we'll just give it a minute. I see that he's Hello. in here. Oh. There, there he is. We hear you. Jadian. Yo, Hersey! I need your help! Oh, he's screaming for help. How do you do Zoom? Yeah, he is. Yeah, Zoom, <laughs> okay. Zoom is the cold. Let's just there. give him a minute. He's yeah. he's there. Yeah. Take your time there, bud. Well, we Hersey! Can... Percy. <laughs> How do you do Zoom? Yeah, we're trying to. Uh, Gideon, I don't know if you you're hearing us, but we can hear you. We just don't see you. One time with the. Oh, this is. Can, does he know that? Oh, they just. Oh shit. Yeah, we can hear you. Wait, can y'all hear me? Yeah. Yeah, we hear you. We hold. We heard you screaming oh, for Percy. Like your grandpa right now. Yo, sorry, chat. <laughs> no problem. This uh, Zoom is foreign to me i am a discord user yeah first thing first i want to say w wan in the chat w wan wan shout out Whittian. <laughs> see a lot of ladeons <laughs> w dan no. i haven't seen that many ladeons in the chat before but you know hey some new but i can't hear anything right now oh um, oh you can't he can't oh, hear us well then oh okay. interesting not much, see y'all but not much of a dialogue we can try uh up, ethan we can try uh, Discord if you want really to connect there. You want to tell them that? I can. I can. Maybe just uh, hang up. Video. This is just. I mean, we can wait. By any chance, you He's don't have Discord, tab. do you? He's getting close. <laughs> can you oh, hear us, Judy? Sure. You hearing us? He, he asked about Discord just now. Yeah, maybe just. Uh, Discord guy. Can I send him the Discord link? Okay. Maybe just hang up, Dan. Yeah, man. When? Can't hear you. Yeah. Okay. Listen. Let's let's kibosh this. Oh, okay. Oh. Is he responding to me on the show? No, it's too delayed. I think. Why don't you message him? Say we can try Discord. Did you hang up? I'm hanging up right okay, now. Okay. Good. All right. His next video, I trolled H3 live on stream. <laughs> I'll send you a Discord uh, link. At least he said when before he left. Uh, yeah, he gave a big shout out to I think we'll just Wan. have to add as friends. So let me give you my, like, Discord name or whatever. Oh, he said he figured it out. Oh. Should we... We're oh, you can just click that link again, then. We're definitely being He's trolled. not banned. No. -uh. For no, sure. I think... I I don't think we're being trolled. I don't trolled. think he knew, he knew how to use Zoom. You think not we're being trolled? Zoom. Absolutely. No, he kept saying he was okay. a Discord okay. guy. Here, you just rejoin the Zoom. Let's see if it works. Well, if it doesn't work again, then... If it doesn't work again, we'll do Discord. It's not that good of a troll. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. All, All right. right. I'm letting him back in. Okay, he's back. Here we go. 
All right, Gideon, can you hear us this time? Yeah, I can hear y'all. Can there you go. go. Okay, hey, welcome back to the show. Thank you for calling. No, thanks for having me. Gideon, nice to uh, meet you. Nice to talk. Um, I, oh, I just feel like it's been like, you know, there we go. Can you see my face now? There we go. Okay, what's up? What's up, Ethan? How you doing? Nice to meet you. Uh, first thing first, Wan, I love you, bro. You're Shout Wand. out. Shout Head out, Wan. Appreciate you. W. Dan. Widian. <laughs> Widian. Yeah. So uh, my editor was kind of telling me about the video. I haven't got the chance to watch your response yet because I was going to watch it later on my stream. But he had told me that you were really upset about the thumbnail. And um, I really don't even look at my second channel. He just posts the clips and stuff. So when he told me and I saw it, I was like, oh, shit, I said change it. So OK, that's nice. I appreciate that. The new one's a little weird, though, too. Maybe you can explain this. It says, look at him act like an educated African-American. I don't know what that means. Um, I think I know what he was trying to go for there. <laughs> what? I'm what? Uh, man, he's talking about your best friend, Keemstar, I think. A little play on words. Look I'll... at him act like an educated African-American. Do you not like that one? If not, I can tell I don't him get it. It seems like it's another. Not that I know of. I'll it's... tell him after this to change it for you. Yeah, so so, I guess, well, since you're here, I guess we can talk about the uh, the video. Because you accused me of what I felt was like a light jab about the uh, about the uh, the most racist town in America video you made. Yeah. You called me a liberal racist, and I... I am intrigued by that. I just was hoping you unpacked it a little more in your video. So maybe you can do that for me here. Nah, yeah. Um, I don't think I called you a liberal racist because me personally, I don't think you're a racist. You know, I but think you said that I verbatim. Do. I said that was liberal racism. Okay, okay. This is liberal racism. So, because I said the same thing about Hassan. So. Okay, so liberal racism. What does that mean? So I feel like, you know, I feel like, you know, what conservative racism is, right? You know, your white picket fence, all American family, you know, hates immigrants, doesn't like, you know, the stereotypical racist. right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so that's the pretty much when you think of a racist, you think of someone that's outwardly like, I hate black people, you know, people that are against BLM. That's what I think of, you know, with racism. But then, Just, yeah. I got you. I feel like what uh, kind of comes under the rug <laughs> and people really don't talk about is liberal racism. And what I think liberal racism and a lot of other black people in black in the black community, we feel like what li liberal racism is, is like white people thinking or not even white people, but it's mostly white people thinking they know better than black people thinking like they have to save us more of like a white savior complex. Like, you know, I'm heard, pretty sure you heard of white savior, right? Yeah, yeah. I know what that is. So that's what I mean by liberal racism. So I just felt really patronized when you were like, oh, look at him parading for the KKK. And yeah, it was a light jab and stuff. And I got emotional. So, you know, that's on me for getting emotional. You know, I should have articulated my words a little bit better to get my point across. But, you know, we all say things we regret, right? Oh, well, oh, yeah. I don't necessarily regret it, but I regret how I phrased it. So what, how would you like to phrase it? Because I am interested in unpacking that. I just felt patronized, you know? Patronized. Yeah. yeah. So, like, because the I guess the criticism of that video was just that you went there and you're like, this these guys are all, like, we can talk with these people and we can have a conversation with them. You're mm -hmm. talking to that KKK guy who was basically like, you can't come to my church, right? Yeah, yeah, he said that. And uh, he thinks that, like, whites and black people should be separated he does. So I guess I just don't. You well, before yeah, you kind of just I gave a platform to talk uncontested. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to hear from you. What did, in that situation for you to have not said that? What would you have liked me to like say or condemn him on <laughs> in that situation? <laughs> well, first, I'll say I think the vi we all see that the video had. Um, good intentions and you want to and like we get what you're trying to do out there and. You know, I think and I've made this mistake before when I've had people like Jordan Peterson on or even Joey Salads. I once debated him. And the problem is when you talk with people that incendiary with that, like. Undefensible and a lot of them lie and mislead shit. 
uh, you kind of have to be equipped to respond to it appropriately, right? You kind of have to be prepared. Otherwise, they're left to say whatever they want, kind of unchecked, and in a way, you kind of just let the guy give his platform out and without being, you know, without challenging him in a way that, that I think would have been meaningful. But that being said, you know, I understand what you were trying to do. And it was so do you feel like I came in there like unequipped and, you know, I wasn't prepared really. And I just kind of gave him a platform like if that's your opinion, that's your opinion. But is that what you think? I came in there unequipped. I think that you are. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, for sure. OK. Yeah. Well, to say to that, actually, I know, you know, from the title, it's kind of like you probably were thinking, oh, yeah, he went there to, you know, say racism doesn't exist. But actually, when I I don't know if you realized the outfit I had on, I was like sagging, had a white tank top. I really had no idea what type of video I was going to do there Yeah. because I've never been there. I just seen the video and stuff. But when I got there, got to talking to the minorities of the place figuring out and then learning that, okay, it's not actually the town of Harrison. It's this little town of Zinc mm -hmm. where, you know, the KKK compound is. Then going over to Zinc, finding out it's not even the town of Zinc. It's literally just that compound and how pretty much everybody in that area doesn't like them. And, you know, I got everybody else's opinion about it. You know, everybody was cussing them out, talking about how much they disliked them. And then, you know, I go on his property to go talk to him. And me personally, you know, I feel as though to grow as humans like if i was just to go there and he talked and i'm like you fucking racist you're wrong you know obviously yeah, would have got a lot of clicks would have got a lot of views and everything but at the end of the day what would have god done i feel he i don't got think that's the only way to confront people right i mean you don't have to yeah. yell and scream and stuff like that would be i don't know for me it's like if i go to like neo-nazis and be like yo we can have a conversation you just you, you just want me to fucking die but I don't know. I, I get what you were. I get you were going for it, right? And it's but it's like fine. you know. Let's say you know you're Jewish, right? Yes. So let's say you did a video where you went to like a neo-Nazi camp mm -hmm. and you had a conversation with them, and for the most part, it was a civil conversation. He said, "Wait, you know, he has to say which is absolutely wrong and I don't agree with." And then you know, you say your piece, and then you leave it at that. And let's say I was to hop on and be like, oh, look at Ethan parading for the neo-Nazis. You know, he's all campaigning I didn't say you're them. parading. Just to, I, I, I think you said campaigning, if I'm not mistaken. I think you said, pl I think I said, like, giving him a platform. No, I think, you said campaigning. But, you know, it's all good, though. It's all good. Well, what? it doesn't matter. But my intention was that you, I didn't say campaigning. But, I mean, I, I so, feel so, like it does matter because so, it, because it, to me, it offended me, you know, yeah. and I know you like talked about Keem and everything Keem said and like, bro, you know, I'm not stupid. We all know the video where Keem set the hard R like what, three, four times. And, you know, me personally, I don't consider him a racist. Like, you know, no offense. You said the hard R like two, three times. I don't consider you a racist. You know, like people say stuff. It's like I know a racist and I know, you know, someone that just says something. And that guy was a racist, but I knew going there that he wasn't going to change his mind. And that's not what I wanted to go there for. I'm not going there to try to change his mind because it's just not going to happen. And I feel like that's the problem where the left so and the I, right get into an endless debate where one side tries to say changes the other side's mind. Then the other side gets mad that they're trying to change their mind. So they want to rebel against them. And it's another ending thing. I, I just think, wanted to put out there what they thought. And then I feel like the rest of the video spoke for itself. It's like, even though there's this much hatred, why did you want to put out what they the thought? City. Or why did you want to put out what they thought? It's the same reason why, you know, you talk about Andrew Tate. You know, it, it needs to be talked about. Did you criticize it, though? I did. I feel like, I mean, I feel like it's pretty obvious that I, I stand I, against I, everything he says. Yeah, I the, think I can the, boil it down to this point, which is basically there's some things that are not even, if you engage it, it legitimizes it in a way that like it doesn't even need to be engaged like it's not even a conversation like if i went to a nazi i was like tell me about why you think all jews should die it's like that's not going to be a productive conversation simply by the fact that there's no real way to justify that and even by engaging it like it's a like a, a reasonable argument you you in a way legitimize it and turn that conversation into what like a legitimate conversation that's really not
It's not a legitimate conversation. That's why I wasn't added on to it. That's why I wasn't agreeing with him. I just let him talk. And I said, well, why can't I join the church? It was more to flesh out everything that he thought. Because when you really get down to it, he said everything he thought. And then he ended up saying that more white people uh, uh, hurt him and offended him more in his life than black people. So it's like, Mm -hmm. okay, if white people did more bad stuff to you in your life than black people, but you'll let white people into your church, then why is this hatred of black people coming from and other races coming from? Mm -hmm. So then... That's what I was trying to get down to is he's already showing. I haven't even he said in the video, I think he said, I haven't had a problem with black people. I've had more problems with white people, Mm -hmm. but there's still this stigma of this racism. So obviously it boils down to something. And I feel like as a generation, the more we talk about it, the more that it will be excluded because we see it's wrong. And if you look at it today, I feel like in any point in time in history, especially here in America, you know, racism is going down more and more and more as a new generation sees. So don't, all don't, people you that think he was, don't you think he was able to, I mean, his message to you, because he knows he's on camera, was very scaled back, right? Mm-hmm. Like if you had a hidden camera and him and his homie talking about black people or Jews or whatever, it would have been a lot more vile. So in a way, he did some, he was able to do some nice PR on camera for you. And also, I will say at one point that really kind of took me back is mm-hmm. when you guys ended your conversation and you said, is there anything you want to say to the people? And he goes, thanks for listening. And I was like, oh, damn, that, that's kind of fucked up that he got to just like platform his, his beliefs like that. That all being said, um, I think the video is overall good. And I don't, I'm, not, I'm not trying to say like, oh, you, you fucked up and the video is horrible and you should never made it. I think what Hassan was originally trying to do was just, you know, level some some criticism at your approach. And I think ultimately maybe you got a little defensive about it, but I understand that as well. You know, I got defensive about it. Me personally, I feel me being upset about it was justified, but I should have took more time to, you know, react to his video and your video beforehand where I can have all my points written down, where I can say it in a cohesive manner and stuff. But that's not what happened. You know, I like to do live reactions and, you know, I'm here. Yeah, I get it. Me too. Oh, I got emotional and I said that. I feel like my, you know, how I feel still stands. But uh, I feel like now coming on here, you know, I kind of got to flesh out more of how I thought, you know, you're not racist, right? No, no. Yeah. Yeah. Then... That but I don't understand. I, st- I still don't understand the the accusation of of me being li- a liberal racist. I feel racist. like you were exhibiting yeah. liberal racism. So, so how? I just don't understand that because that's that's a pretty harsh thing to level against someone. And um, I feel that. So I'm gonna tell you why yeah. I think you were exhibiting liberal racism. Yeah. So in the left side, I feel you know they're pretty strong allies with like you know the black community, BLM, but you know. I feel like especially the entire black community, what we're starting to see is especially around election time, we're more used for votes than it is for Mm -hmm. actually helping our people. Uh, I I think it was a George Floyd bill that was supposed to be signed after he had died about police brutality and everything. But uh, that bill to this day still hasn't been signed. But I think an Asian Lives Matter bill has been signed by him. And I feel also that uh, some LGBTQ bill was signed by him. But that bill, uh, it was around the George Floyd era, but that bill to this day Mm -hmm. has yet to been signed. And And how was I being a liberal racist? So how you were being a liberal racist is, you know, instead of you saying, you know, if you would have said, hey, Gideon, you know, you didn't, you gave him a platform, man. You should have attacked this more. I see, like, you, the way you said it there, cool. Mm-hmm. But in the video, uh, there goes Gideon campaigning for uh, the neo-Nazis. And, you know, and with, we, you know what we call that in the uh, black community? You probably don't know what that is because, you know, you're not in the black community. But basically... Uh, a lot of other black people had the same sentiment. It's basically you kind of call me an Uncle Tom. So like an Uncle Tom is someone. I know what Uncle Tom around. is. Yeah. No. I, I yeah. Know yeah. Yeah. But so you're like you were basically calling me an Uncle Tom. No. But I think what all I, I think all me and Hassan said was that you just were a little ill-equipped to handle that delicate of a conversation. That's it. I don't understand how that implies you're an Uncle Tom, so to speak. Or maybe yeah. I'm missing. Maybe I'm missing. But something. you know. That's the thing, like you and Hassan, you know, no offense to y'all, but you guys stay in y'all studios Mm -hmm. and you talk about it from afar. And I think in Hassan's video, he said he looks at the empirical data, but you know, I'm pretty sure before he reacted to that video, 
he didn't even know what Harrison, Arkansas was. But it's just like, you know, where someone like me, like, yeah, you know, I might not be as smart as y'all. You know what it is? What I don't it think is. it's about that. First of all, I, 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 I wanted yeah. to go to the field where it said it's the most racist town. I yeah. put myself right. at harm. I put my film at harm. Yeah. But we went there and I feel like we have brought something, you know, for the world to see because that video, you know, you see that video and you say, oh, yeah, you know, the video I'm talking about in question where the guy has a BLM sign and it says and everybody was calling him the N word lover and all this stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, was that in the video? I no, it was know. the video that inspired. Oh, 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 oh. like it was the original. No, I, de I definitely agree video. that like the concept and you going there was super brave, not knowing what to expect. Like, I totally agree that like the video premise is interesting and you're super brave to go there. I just don't know that. Again, I just don't know that I understand still yet the liberal racism. So the liberal racism part is, you know, it feels, you know, you're a white man telling mm -hmm. me, oh, Gideon doesn't understand like this racism. He doesn't really quite understand it. He was ill prepared. He was unequipped. Mm -hmm. He didn't know what he was talking about. You know, he should have been more prepared. It's, it kind of sounds like, you know, like whether you wanted to sound like that or not, like, you should have been in that situation because you could have been better prepared for it. Mm, that's quite a, that's a leap. I don't think so. I definitely am not. I definitely am not equipped to have that conversation as a, you know, as a Jewish person. That's not my my thing. I think obviously you're you're. But probably, then, but you gave an opinion on me being unequipped for it, like so you said. It, let me ask you this: Is it possible? Is it possible for a black person to not be equipped for that conversation, or are they all just? Perfectly equipped by the nature of being a black American. It's not a fact about me being equipped or not. It's the fact that me wanted to have the conversation. It's so am I not allowed to point that out without being a racist? Uh, no, uh, you can point out anything you want. And I have the right to disagree with anything you say. There was a black man. Um, I don't know if you know about this. He would go to Klan rallies and he would literally watch them do their burning of the crosses he would talk to them and eventually the white man he was talking to eventually realized wow what i'm doing is wrong and he actually left being a nazi and he brought mm -hmm. a lot of other people with him and so it's like you know it'll be the same thing if you told that black man when he went and the thing about that black man he wouldn't even go there disagreeing with them mm -hmm. he literally did the same thing i did he went there just to hear what they had to say and eventually when you talk to someone and you just keep on spewing what you believe and they don't retaliate or give you their opinion, but they just listen. Mm -hmm. Then you realize, wow, what I'm saying is kind of fucked up. I know I'm, you're pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I know the guy. Yeah, Daryl Davis. Yeah, he's yeah, super so interesting. Guy. What's, what's the difference between what he did and what I did? Well, what? Uh, well, if you want. First of all, he didn't record it and put it on YouTube. But that but but he made a documentary but, about it. Yeah, but also he well he spent a lot of time building a relationship with these people, right? And mm -hmm. speaking off camera, speaking candidly with them. I mean, if you really want to know what's the difference, I mean, you had one short conversation with this guy in which he said you can't come to my church and he even was unwilling to shake your hand. It basically turned around. So like uh, actually I shook his hand. You did. Okay. I, I shook his hand. So But anyway, cool. I mean, obviously he developed a deeper relationship with them because like you said clearly you're not changing their mind in any way which it's very difficult to do i mean they're so entrenched in their ideology but what you did and what he did is very different no so i guess the only difference is he changed his mind because he had more time to be with them and i didn't potentially i mean i don't know about his his approaches but uh he certainly had a a, a lot more time to build the relationships and have candid conversations about it off camera so would you say he was more prepared like yeah, yeah, day, yeah, so, definitely. But what was he more prepared with besides the fact because obviously he had more time with them. So how can I not be getting prepared for that? You know, what if I go back there and I get to talk to him again? That'd be great. But would I still be unprepared? I don't know. I don't know what kind of prep. I don't know. I mean, look, you're you're a young man. You know, I know that guy who did that was like older. He had been through a lot of shit. So I think I, I, I don't know what preparation necessarily looks like. I would assume it's more but about that, I, yeah, being, that's, being that's prepared, being prepared to, you know, respond the, to whatever they're talking. You've got to be prepared for They have logical fallacies that they say they, and stuff. It's just being a matter of being prepared to have that dialogue and knowing, like, what's the best way to neutralize or, or cut through uh, 
logical fallacies and stuff like that. And world, ex and I think experience too as a human being, just being able to like connect with people on a deep empathetic level that you get from age, frankly. But, but I'm not saying it's, you know, I'm, I'm not, not saying it's impossible I, for a young man yeah. to do it either. I'm not, I mean, you know, I'm not a debater like you, you and Hassan, you guys. Not really debater, but, of, yeah. Okay, well, Hassan, yeah. he makes his living off of being a debater and everything. I'm not a debater. I'm more of, uh, you know, obviously a prankster, but I wanted to show a different side of me. And I feel like that video really did show a different side of me. Where yeah, you know, I, I show more yeah. of my interviewing skills, more of, you know, me, less of the trolling, uh, and more of me just asking the questions, you yeah. know. Like, Nico did the same video, and he actually got to talk to the leader of the KKK. Mm -hmm. But, you know... I don't see. I agree, man. There's nothing prepared. wrong with it. But do you find it ironic to, on one hand, call me a liberal racist for criticizing your preparedness uh, to have that conversation while doing a Nazi Hitler salute in front of a KKK building? I mean, you know, it's ironic. It is Honestly, ironic, a black, right? a black man doing that. It's like the same thing with the context of you saying the F word and the N word multiple time on IW stream, you know, yeah. were you saying it out of racism? Yes or no? Uh, no, no, no. So obviously, so, so you're was doing, I doing that out of racism? So what, what is the context? The context is a black guy at a KKK camp where he shouldn't be throwing up their salute. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm being, I'm just joking around, not joking around about the situation, Did not, but more of the fact that Nazis really even fun hated of them. black people that much. I think they, they did? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah, the Nazis. Definitely. Yeah, okay. So if you want, if you one of the Aryan race, they didn't like yeah, you. But, <laughs> yeah, because I remember they like Hitler was obsessed with like that Olympian. Well, he so thinks he, that, he, he, Jews were at the very bottom of the totem pole, but he had a whole totem pole, and black people were pretty far down there too. Anybody that wasn't blonde, blue eyed, yeah, Aryan, basically, race. Uh, was lower, a lower person. So, okay, so this is uh, okay, cool. Yeah. But I just wanted to come on here like, you know what? I feel like I didn't, you know, really display my true feelings. So I hope you know my true feelings now. You know, I'm not expecting an apology or anything like that. But, like, this is exactly what I want to do. It's like yeah. having the conversation. Instead of us having to beef on Twitter for years and, you know, doing the L3, L3. Because I don't know if you know this, but I actually grew up on you. You know, Vape Nation, y'all. Like, mm -hmm. I grew up on you. I yeah, feel I heard, like you inspired I heard, yeah. a lot of my... uh career and everything so you tweeted out like two days ago i missed the old h3 what does that mean oh man bro you know we missed the old h3 where you and Hilo, uh Hilo, right is that how you pronounce mm, it yeah where you guys would just sit down react to videos make comedy sketches you know you know the old h3 the h3 that was trying to uh raise a bunch of money for to fight a lawsuit battle i remember actually i was trying to donate my first paycheck to you because around this time you're uh uh, raising money for your, I forgot the dude's name, but uh, Matt like Hoss. Hoffman or yeah, Matt, Matt Hoss. Hoss. Yeah, you were well, trying to raise awesome. money I appreciate for the that. thing, yeah. But you, you reached the goal way before I could even send in that paycheck and stuff. That's so that's awesome. the old H three yeah. I'm talking about. But it seems like when people say that, it's more like dis detractors who are like, I don't like what he's become now. So I guess I'm curious, what is it that I do that you don't like these days? Just to give you an opportunity to talk about it. Cause, it's, not, yeah. it's not necessarily that I don't like what you do now. It's just me personally. You like the old like, stuff. I like the old stuff. Okay. You know, sometimes we think of the heyday. You know, people are going to say the same thing about me. Mm -hmm. People are going to be like, oh, man, I miss the old Judeon. And I understand, you know, we have to grow up and everything. And, you know, I feel like you maybe took a turn further off the road than most people do with their careers. But, mm -hmm. hey, it's working. You know, you have a successful brand for you. You have people like Dan, W employees in the chat. W yeah, Dan, in the Dan chat, definitely dubs. <laughs> for well, sure. You know, Thanks, I, I can't hate on you like that. You know, you got a beautiful family and everything. So, you know, I'm not going to hate on you for that, you know. But, you know, just shouting out the old H3, H3 members, you know. So it, it, was like a, it was like a shout out to being like, yo, this guy's old content rules. But like, I don't remember the old days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like, remember the old days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, but ultimately, I want to wrap it up and say, you know, I don't, it's not like I hated the video or even that I had very strong opinions about it. I think it just turned into this back and forth that kind of turned interesting. And then the, the orangutan thing was kind of nuts. So. But I'm glad yeah, we could talk Matthew it out. For you. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I'm gonna get on Matthew for that. But <laughs> also, if you go on my community tabs on my second channel, 
you'll see like three or four months ago, he had posted one thumbnail. I was like, bro, sorry if we have to delete that other thumbnail because Matthew was wild. And what was it? <laughs> oh man, I forget, but he's a 17 year old, you know, I hired a 17 year old. He's good. Old, so. I mean, yeah, I like, I like that, that he uh, expresses himself a little bit there, but I guess sometimes you, you take it too far. I click that shit. I was like, like, I said, said I, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I heard what you said about, uh, you know, I got to um, be more around. So, you know, before things go up, you know, I'm going to take criticism where criticism is due. I'm going to, you know, make sure when before things go out. So if it's not on my part, I can nip it in the bud. So situations like this don't happen. And, you know, I'm not going to tell you what to do because this is obviously your business. But I would just say going in the future, especially talking about issues like regarding other races, uh, I would say mo maybe more have more self-awareness of like what you're saying, because you got to realize different races have different fights they're going against. Cause obviously you talk about so many different topics. So obviously you're going to end up talking about different races. So I would just say more of have like a look on, okay, what could this race be going through at a time where, you know, could my comments maybe offend someone or offend a, this race. And I would say if you go in with that, more forethought because what you said here if you would have said that in your video i wouldn't have not said anything it would have been like you know what fair point you know i can see that but maybe next time next interview i can inject more interject more and you know be like okay guys you know don't listen to that part but you know you didn't give me room to make corrections for the future you more of just made a statement that low-key i felt patron was patronizing but you know what i feel like we squashed it off here and uh, but by the there's no hard feelings no there's no hard feelings i never did i like you i think you're funny i think you're talented and i think you i have appreciate a bright that future. that means a lot that means a lot yeah but just just so you know like when i said the n-word that was wrong right like i apologize for that and i've learned a lot and then and that's something that i would never do now and um i hope you know that about the nazi salute as well yeah, and you know what? Even in the context of uh, you're Jewish, so I apologize if that offended you. And you know, I was hoping that it was just, pretty well known yeah. that it was ironic, but you know, it seemed to take offense to you. So since it took offense for you, well, I apologize you, on my end. So I appreciate you apologizing, and I apologize okay. on my end as well. There you, you know. go. <sighs> Beautiful. Well, I be I appreciate you being mature and calling in. And uh, saying what up? And yeah, uh, man, you know I don't uh, like beef, you know. It. But you know, Shout I, out I, and, and you know, I I saw you gotten in trouble with with some pokey stuff, and you guys squashed the beef. I thought that was cool too. But again, yeah, I just I, I, it's not it's not like a heavy criticism, you know. It's just some some comments. But I I understand it's all good. I understand getting uh feeling patronized as well. So it's all good. I apologize. I appreciate that, Ethan. Thank what you. Do I apologize? For? Uh, right. What? Uh, yeah, I apologize. Appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, thank you, bro. Appreciate you calling uh, in. And everybody in the chat, W Podcast, W Stream right Wayne. now. Wayne. You, you guys can still call me Ladeon. It's all good. No, we've been but, calling uh, you Wittion today. Wittion. Wait, yeah. Wittion? Okay. W Fake today. Nation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Fake uh, Nation, bro. Guys. All right. Love you, Dan. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Love you, Dan. <laughs> Dan became Dan. the uh, hero. The hero we don't deserve. But I just actually I wasn't sure what I was I just and I don't mean to be offensive I just I, I, I think it's more of like that he's young and if you were if you felt like he was being uh, too targeted you apologize that he felt that way because I guess you've been there you've I guess grown. I just I don't like to make him feel bad yeah you know but I don't think I was exhibiting liberal right no no so. I mean but I, I mean listen he's a sweet guy Mm -hmm. I do like him. It was awesome that he called in. I don't know how that conversation went, frankly, uh, but it's over now. <laughs> how did that go, do you guys think? Be honest. I think it was good. I think it's always good to talk. I thought it was though. good. Yeah, I yeah. mean. I thought it went well. No, I think we got a little bit more to cut to what his intentions with that video are. I mean, ultimately, we don't have to agree on whether it was a good idea or not to have the conversation, but... You know, you acknowledge that you felt like he had good intentions. He clarified that he does not support anything that that guy says. You know, it, 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 I think from his mindset, he wanted to just have the conversation so people could hear for themselves mm. what this person believes 
Um, and you know, it's kind of like giving them the rope so that they I mean, and that, that that's how Louis sort of Thoreau does his interviewing style. He calls it radical listening. Sure. Where he lets people kind of just expose themselves. Or even like own. Andrew uh, from Channel Five yeah, does that yeah. a lot as well. Um, and yeah, it, you know, I think ultimately, I I don't necessarily agree that you were exhibiting this, but what he brought up about you know the liberal racism thing boiling down to um, people in the Democratic Party using I agree, black but I don't know why not actually supporting them legislatively. I that, agree. That's a legitimate grievance. I agree, but like it's weird to bring. It doesn't seem fair to me to bring that up and then as a point to talk about how I'm a liberal racist. I don't think it like, that just seems like really a applies. disingenuous segue. Yeah, I, I don't know if so. I don't know if it's disingenuous. I, I do I, agree that it's a. What's it got to do with big, me? It's it's a stretch for sure. But what is the fucking the Democrats not doing more for black Americans got to do with me? Um, yeah. Well, I think you know his feelings about that may have just spilled over into feeling like what you were doing was also being condescending because you know he obviously has that opinion that he feels like liberals are condescending to black people. Um, I agree with you that I don't think it really applied in the case of what you said, but I think that's probably where that's coming from. Yeah. But you know what? I do like the guy, and it was cool that he called in. That's it. God bless. Wait. It got a little it got a little more serious than I expected, you know. I time. figured it would go there, but you know. Thank you Can Edim for 20 gifted subarinos. I would say the beef is squashed for sure. And to be honest, I the thing that I was really ticked off was that thumbnail, and he changed it, so that's good. There you go. Yeah. What's that guy's name? Matthew? Matthew. Shut up, Matthew. Shout You're out, a Matthew. fucking savage, bro. <laughs> That's the savage. Yeah. Savage thumbnail You gotta be careful with those text bubbles, bro, because the text bubble means literal fucking saying this. Right. You I'm gotta, a fucking savage. You gotta do it. You gotta be careful with that one. You can maybe change it again. The new one was... The new one is not good. Yeah. <laughs> The new one is not well, the new good one either. To me, is just a little bit more confusing. Uh, but and, I and but, like offensive. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Not sure, what 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 the goal is? There. I think he's trying to he make it sound like, like, oh, look at this smart black person. Like I'm saying it ironically. Yeah. Look at him act like an educated African American, implying that I don't believe a Amer African Americans to be educated. <laughs> he shaves it again, by the way. Okay, what's the neuro? <laughs> Where are we Hold at on. now? Yeah, round three. This one's <laughs> fine. Hold on. Let's see uh. it. Here we go. All right, let's see what we got. The new one. Drum roll, please. Here we go. <laughs> Is that really it? It says, he's worse than frickin' prank invasion. No, I didn't say that either. <laughs> Not even close, man. Not even close. <laughs> but at least it's not me saying something racist. Right. Yeah. It's uh, me make so I'll, I'll settle for that. Definitely not worse than prank invasion. Prank invasions. No, pretty, pretty not bad. worse than prank invasion. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> but okay, I, I I'll accept this one just cuz yeah, you know, but I'm saying you got to be careful with those text bubbles, bro. I'm yeah. just saying. I'm just saying. Uh All right. Widian. Beef squashed. Wham. Wham! There's a lot of text bubbles in on that channel that makes me wonder if that's actually in the video or not. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's <laughs> almost certainly not. If hey, he man, did it yeah. to me. Like, what's this one say? <sighs> don't make me spank your big baboon butt again. Bro, stop! Yeah, I don't know. You can't do that. Because that's, that's like, you're putting all this well, we crazy... We don't know. We're... He didn't say that. We're... There's no way that this Best Buy employee told him, I'm going to spank your baboon butt again. No way. <laughs> and what's crazy is he's putting out all these super the racist tropes. Out. He's the one putting those super racist tropes out. Like, that's me doing a text bubble of me, like, walking through Best Buy. Burning of oven, you dirty Jewish cunt. Or, oh, shit. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, dude. <laughs> you can't. I don't know. Uh, I, I shouldn't say it. I'm going to say something I don't. I, I probably shouldn't oops. say. Oh God! I said the c word, but I kind of stopped myself midway, so maybe it's fine. Maybe it's okay. Thank you, Lena. Can I get a soda, please? Yeah, thank you. All what right. was it that I said? You, you <laughs> sons of bitches! No. No. 
Anyway. All right, we got plenty to do. That was an unexpected... Uh, that was a little detour. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad we to have the conversation, though. W. Dan. If you guys have any more <laughs> of these, though, I'd like to see them. These are pretty crazy. Love that. Oh, there's more. So, gosh, where were we? Uh, I apologize to the cats. We were going to do the game with the parents. Okay, there's one other thing before the game. Okay. Super interested in this guy's theory. Pete and Kim are You know we've joked about the red line, green line theory? It's not a theory, it's a fact. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's this, well, like evolution's a theory. <laughs> Never be a beta. Check this out. This guy's on to something. Up after nine months. Yet another reminder that the green lines, they never lie. I actually introduced the green line theory to TikTok through this photo of Pete and Kim. In that TikTok, I he made introduced clear, it. Kim and Pete weren't going to last this is the... long. Pete would stay with Kim forever. Really? I think Mine this is his theory. That? Oh my God. No, this guy's been going on about this for a minute. Oh, wow. He is the real deal. He's a yeah. modern day Sigmund Freud. Thank you. So here. Ever, but Kim was never going to respect a leaner like Pete. But yeah, the green lines. They never lie. They never <laughs> lie. Pete is a multiple time offender of leaning Dude, in. Dude, that green line, is, he's Kim cheating on that one. Leaning into Pete. Hold That's on. not a I've legitimate green line. He's Pete right, bro. They yeah, she yeah, dumped photos him. Of them both standing straight up, but Listen, that one, the green lines, for sure, lie. the line is, cur is curved. This, when you gotta listen to yeah. me. Yeah, but obviously he's cherry picking up photos. After nine months. But there was one that it was... It's gotta be a photo of Kim leaning into Pete. There was one in there that it was like... That green line was crooked, but he was standing straight up. Like, he was he was fudging. Oh, you think fudging he's fudging the, the numbers? Yes! Let's take another look. That one where they're on the red carpet. Look oh, shit. That. He is not bent over that. No! Look at his tie. But I think no, what, the green line goes through the tie. I think like what straight he up means, and down. I think what he means is that he is the one exerting an action or something on her, leaning into her in some way. The line could make like here's the straight line. It could be like, it could be like this. But he has it like this. He's not standing like that. He definitely embellished it. What does the green dot mean here? I think a uh, mistake. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Typo. I wasn't sure how polished his videos were. Decoration. Yeah, but um, here's one. Oh, see, bro, this man, look at this. Here's one of Kim leaning into Pete. Same night. That's the same night, and that's a huge green line violation. You're right. Yeah. Just People. saying, I'm busting this theory wide yeah, open. He's way taller than her. I mean, come on. Wow. Get your and look at ass this. Up and, work. and that's good posture. That's straight up, boy. It's a good pick. Yeah. Have you made any moves yeah. yet, Olivia, on uh, <laughs> getting a hold of him? I mean, he is oh, available he's now. He's so out of. He's way far gone. I what think do you mean? he's he is unattainable. What? What? Don't. I don't want. Even oh my! For you? Can you imagine? First of all, unattainable. However, can you imagine dating someone right after Kim Kardashian dated them? You'd be a step up. You better hush. Never say that. <laughs> People know how I feel about Kim on the show, so that is true. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's a chance. I'll He's take single. it as you just see me very. You see me very highly. Yeah. Thank you. No, I do mean that. And look, look. I don't want to scare you, but you look behind you. Cut to cut to Olivia again. Wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> he's here. Where did that come from? Is he still your fave celebrity crush, though? Um. I mean, sure, but like he's everybody's now. I need to find something new. And something fresh. Sam, is he your celeb? Do you agree that he's the hottest thing? <laughs> no, we just agree no. on. <laughs> he's a very. I feel like he's a very specific type. <laughs> he is. Like we if both he's agree your type, on Jack you love Harlow. Hmm? Sam and I both love Jack. Who's Jack? Harlow. Jack Harlow. Are you Ethan? both? And you really think How dare he's like you? the sex icon? <laughs> yeah, we meet in the middle with Jack Harlow. I don't know about sex icon. Well, I do. He's that, very charming. Isn't that what we're talking about? <laughs> hey, get that off of the screen. It's a camera. Who am I leaning into? I'm just L life. Beta. I'm, what am I? Beta, beta, beta. Yeah, you, dude, this sex icon. This is pretty dope. Fucking eating buckets of KFC. <laughs> Motherfucker, that's a lot of chicken for one man. Looks awesome. <laughs> Fucking fried chicken. So who's your ideal guy, Sam? 
Ian. Oh, come on. Oh, the sex icon. Who's your favorite <laughs> club crush? Yeah, yeah I'll clap for that. Go off, Queen. I'll clap for that. Wean. 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 Uh, Mitchell Morrison, 100 bucks, says, loves KFC fund. Did. She can, she can. Oh, What's interesting that, that you sent that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sent it, I didn't send it uh, up until we were talking about KFC. Okay, true, true, true. It was yeah. appropriate. Yeah. Did. Who's your guys, do you, would you guys say who's your celebrity crush? I'll be honest, I don't really have one. Nowadays. You look like? Well, yeah. Ela Klein is a celebrity. She's, it's true. She's fucking that hot. Does, that does count. She's hot as shit, dude. For reals, bro. She slays those fits every... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> it's mm -hmm. crazy. Allison White is a little bit of a celebrity in certain art Twitter circles. All right, so. you guys are just cheating. You guys aren't playing the game <laughs> fun. You're just Ryan. naming your significant others. <laughs> Ryan Gosling. Yeah, you want to fuck Ryan Gosling. Oh, yeah, true. I don't want to fuck him. I'm just saying he fucks. Who does he fuck? Yeah. No, he just fucks. Yeah, exactly. He fucks you. No, I don't want him to fuck me. I'm just saying he fucks. <laughs> we had the debate yesterday. I think Brad Pitt fucks more than Ryan Gosling. Brad Pitt fucks, but not harder than the Dude, cost. Brad Pitt is such a... Dude, that guy is... If you look at like his old Pitt, he's still super handsome, but... That guy's a fucking asshole for how good looking he is. <laughs> it's like... It's like, why the fuck do I have to share the space... <laughs> With this guy. I mean, I'm happily married and stuff, but like, how am I, how is anyone else supposed to get chicks? Mm -hmm. That's just fucking stupid. No, dude. God gave it's with, just stupid. God gave with two hands when they made him. It's just stupid, bro. There's a lot of celebs that like girls like that. I'm like, I don't understand what it is, but him can't argue. Nah. I'm all, I, I, uh, take me. He's a handsome <laughs> Take <laughs> me. Look at this. He's a handsome fella. Come on, dude. Type in uh, Brad Pitt long hair. Now nah, he really fucked that. No, no. Brad Pitt Fight Club. Like Tyler Durden there? Uh, Tyler Durden. That's let's see. I want to see Zach's idea. Like, I, look at that, dude. Bro, I, I mean, gotta say that on. doesn't do it for me. The long hair doesn't nah. do it for me. Really? Well, we know Zach's in. Dude, I'm telling you, Predilation Fight Club. Here. Yeah, it does have beautiful hair though. Like, look at look, 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 look at that hair. He's got it all. Like, he's got this perfect face, and then he has beautiful hair too. And I'll say a really good hairline. Fantastic. Jesus. Good, man. great jawline. I mean, didn't he, he just? Well, there was some story about him uh, by, e, from e, Angelina. E Harmony just said Brad Pitt is my second cousin. Shout out to your family, E Harmony. Is that right? Second cousin. Shout out to your family. I'm seeing a lot of Brad Pitt's kind of mid in the chat. No, you guys are just saying that to be contrarian. Look, the, no one will, know, will reign higher than know. the Goss in my eyes. Dude, he's Brad beautiful. Pitt Dude, Brad Pitt is way better looking than. He's I, not my nephew. Fuck you, you take though. that back. Like in that in that golden era, in the photos of like him, Johnny, and Leo. John, yeah. I gravitate more towards a Leo, a young Leo, or a young Johnny. Ela likes Leo, by the way. She always tells me that's her celebrity crush, young Leo. She got, yeah. Who, who doesn't? And I'm like, I'm like, dude, how the fuck am I supposed to compete with this shit? Like, like what if I, I just go, like Gilbert Grape, Leo? Well, I don't know. Maybe this is too young. Young, I don't know. It's, ti it's Titanic Leo, the one right there with the cigarette in the middle. That's the one. Oh, Jack Leo. Jack Dawson looks like Leo, a kid baby. Now. No, that haircut is just like, mwah. He is a kid. Yeah. Isn't he? How old is he? He's like he? super young when they made that movie? What, Gilbert Grape? No, Titanic. Oh, Titanic. I think he was like in his 20s. Here, I'll say, Le Leo, or say Leonardo. And why has he got a name like a Ninja Turtle? Leonardo DiCaprio, 20s. Just to add to the sexy points. He was 21 when they started filming Titanic. I can't find, like, I guess here, I don't know. Look at that haircut, man. They all have this beautiful fucking hair. That's what pissed me off the most. <laughs> You're the hairline king, though. No, but my hair sucks, dude. Look at that, dude. Straight, perfect fucking edges. Curves. Mm -hmm. Somebody donated $20 for Cam's chinchilla fund. Guys, we need to... We gotta figure out a new fund system. This is not... It's <laughs> this not is working. very difficult. Yeah, let me just explain. When when the whole Sam Jeep thing happened last week, it, it created, like, a lot of work, like, post... <laughs> 
post show work for me <laughs> uh, to compile all of that because it, it really wasn't easy. I've now I've I've set up a tool that all the super chats now gets saved in a spreadsheet, so that makes it easier. But it still comes in in like different currencies. So like I was having to do like gather up all the British pounds and then gather up all the Canadian dollars, gather up all the Swedish crones, and then like do conversions. It's there's got to be a better way than the super chats <laughs> to, to work on these funds. That we being gotta, said, thank you very much. For now the that you said the, that, everybody's going to be donating money chaotically. <laughs> and it's going to be, I don't know what's going to be. Uh, Dan, how, how about you take a cut from all of it? Oh, that's interesting. How about you, oh. do, you skim a little just, off the top? <laughs> just yeah, embezzle. you deserve it, dude. You deserve it. <laughs> just embezzle some? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. What do you guys think is a fair rate for Dan? What's a good 10%. commission? Mm. 10%. And no what do I get? Where's my cut? 20 I'm just Zero. Kidding. Well, YouTube yeah. takes 30. I take 10. And <laughs> Ethan takes 20. <laughs> I'm not taking 20. I'm just kidding. But, Dan, you should take 10% off the top, bro. That'd be epic. 5%. A little something for your time. No, I want people to get... Uh, no, I would never dare. Take your 10%. You've earned it. Listen, Dan. <laughs> You've worked hard for this organization. You deserve a little bit of... Uh... Well, people are saying 5%. Five percent. How about two five percents together? It's ten percent. <laughs> five percent difference is astronomical. That person uh, donated five and said, "Sorry, Dan, I mean to upset you." It's it's not upsetting me, but I just wanted to like put that information out there that it it actually is kind of a a pain in the ass to do these these funds. So I don't. Who's know. Who's the guy who played Bane in Batman? Uh, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. I think. You think that guy fucks? He. Yeah, also, he's, like, such a good actor, and he always looks so different, but he's kind of, he's very fuckable. I mean, he got yoked when he was playing Bane. Like, fucking And he was so yoked. good. Yoked. Uh, that one show, the, uh, uh... Peaky Blinders? Yeah, Peaky Blinders, so good. I love that. Yeah, he played a Jew. I was like, man, ain't no Jews that handsome. Stop. <laughs> he had, like, a seed curls and shit, but is, he looked like a supermodel. Is he Jewish? Nah. No fucking shot. By the way, cultural appropriation. Nah, there's no shot that man is Jewish. Hardy, this article says Hardy, of course, is about as Jewish as bacon. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, to... yeah, didn't have to put it like that. Yeah, yeah, it's from a Jewish magazine. That Couldn't that you find a Jew to play this? Cultural appropriation much? Alfie Solomon? No, nah, I don't care. He was amazing in this role. So good. So he does have that weird chameleon thing. I feel like everything he's dude. in, it's a different dude. Yeah, he's such a good actor. Am I alone in this? Isn't Tom Hardy the most fuckable? Uh, I, I think he's uh, nobody backing me up. I don't think he has the same factor that Ben and uh, or Brad and Leo have. Something's missing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not quite on that level. You ever and see? I don't think, oh, go Tom, ahead. Again. Uh, you ever see Tom Hardy's MySpace photos? <laughs> no. Oh. Let's Ooh, go. Yeah. Is they're not not safe for work, are they? Um, screen. <laughs> take off the screen. Then, um, yeah. Take off. Yeah. All right. Let's they're see. Goofy, Tom Hardy, you MySpace. Can make the final call. What the fuck is this? Who is this? There's your boy. <laughs> what the fuck is this photo? <laughs> is this a goof? That's a... yeah. He was like a goofball on MySpace. I don't know what, okay, what okay, was up okay. with it. That's Lon Hardy. Here he is. You can show this. <laughs> Lon Hardy. My boy. What the fuck? My man, looking good on MySpace. Well, <laughs> miss those MySpace days. I'm the only one, huh? Tom Hardy fan? No, I'm seeing support for the Tom Hardy in the chat. I just, uh, like they said, I just don't think he quite rises to that level of, uh, of some of the other ones we've named. But he definitely fucks. Yeah. We were having a, this... A similar debate here at the office. I fuck. I mean, that's <laughs> true. I've, I've yeah, had really, sex, so what does that mean for this me? This guy fucks, dude. Do I fuck it's that? Not, it's not like a physical like oh. intercourse. Does Ethan fuck that? You do fuck. Yeah, you're a baller. Okay. You fuck. I have had sex. I'm not a virgin. But that, 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 has, nothing, that, that, that has nothing not really, to do with intercourse. It's really it's, nothing to it's, do with. It's nothing, any type of intercourse. Mm -hmm. It's whether you fuck Okay, or not. just clarifying. But you do fuck, yes. Thanks, bro. Whatever that means. 
Tom Hardy used to be a male escort. He used MySpace to advertise. Is this that is true? all actually true. I missed <laughs> they, my opportunity. <laughs> the message says this is all actually true, so it must be. Wow. I wonder how much it costs for that. A lot of uh, Robert Pattinson love in the chat. Yeah. I think he is he Maybe. is the next gen, like, 90s Leo or Brad Pitt, I think. I endorse that. He's, like, one of the only I ones. Like I like him. I don't think he level. has that classic beauty. Sam, are really? you agreeing with me? Or he you has disagree? that classic beauty. Boys! Sam. Boys will be boys! <laughs> Look at me and Tom Hardy. Dogs for life. <laughs> Let me sneak in. Let me get one last escorting thing. <laughs> Just one more, bro. People saying Henry Cavill. I mean, he is. He's too beautiful. He's everything you were saying about Brad Pitt it kind of applies to him. He's, he's too like, jacked. He's though. way too he, like good looking. Yeah. Someone in the chat said some of these guys are too manly, and and then like Leo and Brad are beautiful. Right. They got that perfect. Well, there's, almost. That's, there's Timothy Timothy, Chalamet. Timothy Chal, yeah. yeah, I think he is, could be a big one. Yeah, I gotta I gotta curve up Miles Teller. All right. Who's that? Uh, oh, Austin Butler, I guess, is like riding a wave right now too. He played uh, uh, Rooster Butler. in uh, uh, Top Gun. Oh, Who's just in Top Gun? Nah, nah this dude, no, no. Team Edward all day. Nah, Rob no, 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 no. It's not. Dude, he's handsome. Fine, he's handsome. It's not happening, Miles. He's not Edward handsome. Yeah. Nah, he's. Oh yeah, he was handsome. in Whiplash too. Mm-hmm. He's got like a. He went crazy on the drums. Yeah, so, but you guys think Robert Pattison is like, I don't know, he just, he doesn't I think have he's a face. one of the like, only ones that, ah. Well, here's the thing. I don't know. Like Leo, like a lot of people like him, besides his looks, was his character and the Titanic. And then Rob Pattison playing uh, Edward, I think, contributes a lot to uh, the base like of the Twilight his movies. sexiness. Thank you, Zach. People throwing out you Michael B. Jordan. Maybe? He, That's what I said yeah, last yesterday. That, that when we were talking about this yesterday, he did come up, and yeah, he is extremely good looking too. I think the Michael B. Jordan one's a trip because I'm a huge fan of The Wire. Right. And in that show, he was a kid and he played like a dorky, gangly, skinny, right. yeah. uh, nerdy dude who's just like a punk. And I didn't realize it was the same person until, like, look at this. He was like super skinny, dorky kid. He was a great actor, by the way, even back great then. Show. I mean, he was so good in this show. But I was like, holy fuck, that's the kid from The Wire. Yeah, but no, Mike B. Jordan's, he's good. He's cool. I feel like he hasn't come into his own with the star power yet, though. Like, all he really had, I just pulled up his credits, and it's like he's done the Creed movies, which were hits. And then he was the bad guy in Black Panther. Yeah, th I think the Black Panther one was so big, though. I mean, that was huge, for sure. Yeah. But he needs, like, his own uh, superhero role or something. Mm -hmm. He was uh, people's sexiest man of the year a few years well, yeah. ago. Apollo, I mean, that, that could be that his big, big part. Dude, you, the Creed movies were big, for listen, sure. Listen, guys, yeah. get inspired. Sorry. This kid did some push-ups and, and it became the sexiest man in the world. <laughs> like, just get inspired, yo. Time to start doing some push-ups. Yeah, that's a glow-up. Fuck. Anyway. All right. Another tangent. He was fantastic in Creed. I mean, really good role. People are have lots of ideas in the chat about who's the... Oh, Cillian Murphy? I like him. The thing with him, I think he's really good looking personally, but I know a lot of people with him, it's like people really, really like him or they don't see it. Nah, who doesn't see that? Who is Man, that? This guy from Peaky Blinders. Oh, yeah, uh, Scarecrow. Yeah, Scarecrow. Okay. Who doesn't see that? I don't know, just a lot of people I've heard say that. He's got like another perfect face situation. No? He's a good looking dude. I mean, his, he's got very, he's kind of gaunt. Yeah. I don't he, think everybody's into that look. Yeah. So that probably works against him as, as being kind of universally seen that mm -hmm. way. Yeah. I agree he's handsome, though. I've seen better pictures. Look at this one. Yeah, I've, I've heard girls say that it's too perfect. Oh, stop it. I'm, I'm just saying what I've heard. I think it's the blue eyes that are just. It's blue eye, perfect cheekbones, yeah. lips, nose, everything. It's like sculpted by the gods. Yeah. <laughs> Or maybe just as Tommy Shelby. That's what girls are obsessed with. That's true. Like, uh, so the, the bad boy. Yeah, I think more into the character. Because he is cute as Tommy Shelby, but uh, like um, other pictures of him, I think he's just ordinary. 
I like right. He did. Yeah, he was badass in that show. You do like the bad boy, don't you, Lena? That's like what <laughs> AB is with his mustache. Yeah. I'm a fan of Tommy Shelby, yeah. Oh, okay. He asked you about me, Lena. <laughs> well, you are kind of a bad boy. The aesthetic is bad boy. <laughs> you too, AB. You know that. Do you agree that AB's aesthetic is bad boy? Mm, yeah. Bad I boy mean, with a heart I think of gold. Pe people would Thank describe you. him Thank that you. way, but he wouldn't say that about himself. No, but he's got the tat, he's got the car. You've got a Mustang, bro. Challenger. Challenger, whatever the fuck. You have a bad boy car. <laughs> bad boy, bad boy, what you gonna you do? You a bad boy. Mm -hmm. Certified baddie. All right, shout out. All right, enough of that. Carrot Top will always be my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I love me a muscular Carrot Top. That's everything to me. Look at this. It's sculpted by the gods. Somebody, Zachary donated $20 and said, Young Norm MacDonald is the most beautiful man, and I'm not even gay. Pull it up. <laughs> okay. That's a Look at Carrot Top. Untraditional yeah. uh, choice there. This is my boy right here. I don't care what <laughs> anyone says. He fucks, dude. He does have a mean body. That dude fucks. You know who's also really good looking is the dude that played Hopper. On uh, Stranger Things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, his name has been... David been Harbour? Yeah, he's a good-looking dude. Sam, that I heard, I heard that's why <laughs> Sam made Ian grow a mustache. Oh, is that why? No <laughs> way. That is not true. <laughs> Yo, okay, he is actually... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Or McDonald's way more handsome than I would have expected. Mm. Wait, <laughs> Ian, show your mustache. Is <laughs> that why, Sam? Show no. me your mustache. You a Sam. hopper girl? Which, is that why, Sam? The mustache was Miles she, Teller. She's a hopper oh. girl hopping on this dick. <laughs> Shit. My mom's watching today. <laughs> What's her name? No, Ian, show your mustache. I did, yeah, yeah. You did. Oh, you did? Yeah, sorry. I'm yeah. It. Yes. I, I don't want to out my coworkers, but both him and Zach watched Top Gun and came back with those mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with that, dude? Exactly. What is wrong with that? I let it marinate a little bit. Like, I didn't do it immediately to try and throw people off the trail, but, mm -hmm. yeah. You got a mean stash. Let me get. Let me take a look at that. You mean it's pretty <laughs> grown in. It's quite good. Well, Ian Rock. Well, it's it's almost like an old timey. It's yeah. like an old timey stash. Sam's been getting on my case about it lately. I don't know why. It's very, uh, very cop. I'm not gonna lie, which I guess goes to the Hopper theory. You're a fan of his stash, Sam. I yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's weird>. <laughs> <laughs> Allie has been telling me. To have a mustache for wow, pretty much as long as we've been dating, back. and I mean, I'm I, sitting I have here. a bad boyfriend because I've, I've pretty much just flatly said no. That's not happening. You're not gonna do it. I don't. I would like to see. No that. offense. No offense to the, those rocking the stash in here. Personally, not a fan of the aesthetic. Not a fan of the. I'm just kind of surprised the mustache is making a comeback. Yeah, apparently, it is. Maybe it's you, Ethan. I, I think you were. He brought it, it back. Before it's Top been Gun. a minute of the mustache the new being back. Gun. No, it's been a minute since I've been doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's been a minute since since you've been doing it. Well, my dad has had a mustache his whole life. The Gary stash is you know. is quite yeah, it's iconic, powerful. I yeah. shaved I shaved my mustache for Hawaiian shirt day, and I fucking hated it. But people people were very kind about oh, yeah. it. Everyone said Cam looked cute. I disagree, but I, I shaved it as as soon as the show ended that day too. Yeah, it feels a little weird at first if you're not used to it. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, Let's see, we got that. Oh, so we got to talk about David Dobrik trying to kill another friend. <laughs> this man is being sued he just can't for stop. negligently ki ki trying to kill Jeff. Best friend, by the way, friend of the show. Dobrik? And this motherfucker, this was on Snapchat? Was this even on TikTok or did they remove it? I think it was just on Snapchat. Uh, I'll check TikTok. Oh, maybe it's on TikTok. I'm so confused by Snapchat. I, I don't understand why it's still a thing. Uh, if you click the bottom right, it will unmute. So here is Dubrick. Father Harry! Incendio! Ah! 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 <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, guys, I just... oh, wait, let me pull up the backup we have so I can go frame by frame because her head actually does set fire. <laughs> Which, if you're David Dobrik, where you are now after everything, I mean, maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. You know, 
<laughs> okay, a little bit more aggressive. <laughs> so let's go frame by frame, and you can really see her light. I am your father, Harry. <laughs> That's not from Harry Potter. <laughs> but remember, when I get you, you have to die. Okay. okay, okay. Go say it again. I am your father, Harry. Incendio. <laughs> okay, so look at that. Her hair is on fire, bro. <laughs> what even is this thing? He, he David has like fire. super high powered. David has like this fetish for like obscure weaponry. It shoots flash paper. It's supposed to imitate a Harry Potter wand and then it like burns up real quick. Fire. Yeah, but really? Because it caught her on fire, bro. Look at this. Wait, wait, wait. Right to her hair. This isn't like a custom like thing. It's, it's not like, like a widely sold you can buy this product. And it's been trending yeah. on TikTok. People have been showing it off and like explaining how it works. The video is it like officially like... licensed? No, it's not. No, no, no. Okay. No, no, no. Wait, you can buy this shit on Amazon? You could buy. I don't know if it's on Amazon, but you could buy it online. Um... Yeah. So I don't know, D dude. What the fuck, bro? Stop. This is like the third time you've tried to kill Natalie. <laughs> she must really need a job. Look, our hair's still on fire flames on her head so we love that for him flame of fire is gonna come out that butthole <laughs> by the way obviously she's fine but even in the moment of crisis after everything he's been through they they get scared because her hair's on fire he just doesn't drop the camera he keeps that camera rolling baby i'm still laughing he yeah. laughs yeah Incendio! <laughs> <laughs> Pretty impressive, man. That guy's staying true to himself. He's and the Joker. You think he's Joker brain? He is so Joker brain, man. He's, he's praying at the Joker church. Listen, he's staying true to himself. Most people can't say that. His what he's staying true to himself is trying to kill everyone around him. At the Joker church. <laughs> So apparently you can buy this Harry Potter wand. $115. Oh, that's a good pr I mean, hiring an assassin is probably way more expensive oh, yeah, than definitely. that. Talking tens of thousands. Also, something that just occurred to me, if the laser is powerful enough to ignite hair, that seems powerful enough that it should not be shown into people's eyes. It says do not point in people's faces. I yeah, see. which means... If this had gone slightly different, he would have taken out another eye. <laughs> he was only a couple inches away from Right. Him. Yeah. Literally, he's collecting he's eyes, bro. Joker, and that literally. would be the third eye he's taken out. Wait, what's the third? His oh, right, his right, friend, he threw the pine cone yeah. at him. He needs one for the back of his head. He's like Dexter Obviously. Morgan with eyeballs. Whoa. This man is trying to collect his third fucking eye. Oh, he's going to be like little Zeeper. He's right going to well, his third eye and the one on the back of his right, head. Right, that's going to unlock the power that's been constrained within him. He's like Damien. He's like a, yeah. <laughs> a demon Listen, child. He needs three eyes for the ritual. So when that third eye goes, it's all of our fault. You right. can't blame him yeah. anymore. So true. We hope he's okay. I'm curious about this one, though. What is this thing? We said third eye blind. <laughs> yeah. My favorite band. It would have been third eye blind. Oh, shit. That's the elder one. I think it's no joke. It's no, no joke. <laughs> that just seems like a terrible idea. Like, it doesn't even look cool. It's just a terrible idea. Just shooting fire at somebody. Check. I mean, also, that's what you use a wand for. Is you shoot someone. So. Fire. So there you have it. There it is, huh? Congratulations. Oh, it's not. Oh, wait. I don't think it is a laser. No, it shoots some kind of fire yeah, it paper. It shoots Flash like paper. a little spitball of fire. <laughs> David. Okay. David is YouTube's jigsaw from chat. That is funny. <laughs> I don't know if that makes it That's better or worse. That's actually so funny because he also gives them prizes if they win. Right. I want to play a game. <laughs> Would you like to play a game? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so there's that. Which is fun. We love that. One more eye for the legend. I guess let's play Who's Your Daddy and What Does He Do? Who is my daddy and what does he do? 
This is the game that everybody's been waiting for. Who is your daddy and what does he do, folks? We have collected pictures of every person's parents. Yes. So, I, just in case you haven't noticed, there's an album separate from what I have on screen right now so that you can take a closer look at the pictures. I've got it right here. Okay. Thank you. And um, it will be my job to look closely at these photos and determine whose parents are these. I'm Who's looking... Who's my daddy and what does he do? So how do you want to do this? I'll start with the photos on the top. Uh, do you have access to the number of, of ones I'm showing? Or can you show these? Yeah, we can, we, we can... As you're looking through them, you can show them. This chart, uh, just to be clear, is so that we can... Uh, assign your okay. picks I'll so all these this. moves so you would you know say I think this person is this parent so I and then I put them dude I know over. whose parent this is it's obviously Olivia's mom right or could it be Sam's mom interesting hmm this is interesting isn't it ah shit I think it's Olivia's mom mm. okay what do you think about that? What do I think about it? Yeah. <laughs> I feel can't good. tell you anything, obviously. A beautiful woman. Oh, so you want me to go by crew member? I think it would be easier. Well, I mean, so... I gotta I'll... look through them, though. Right. Yeah. So one. just as you go, mm -hmm. I can kind of move them into where you think, and you can change your mind, and we'll show All right, so let's put, this, let's put this uh, beautiful uh, woman on uh, Olivia's tab go. here. Got it. I'm gonna watch chat, too, like Price is Right. Sometimes they okay. shout the answer. Okay. Um, moving on. Now, who is this slick? That's a lovely dad. A nice dad. Uh, uh, is that Dan's dad? Not... Okay, so put this... Uh, this is not Ian's or AB's or Zach's. Uh, or Lena's. It could be Olivia's dad. This one I thought was the easiest when I was looking through. Who is my daddy? And what does he do? I, I'm going to say Dan, I guess, for now. Wan. Dan. Wan. Wan. People are saying, oh, wait, love's in here. I forgot. Yeah. Okay, wait. I'm seeing lots of loves in chat. You know, I forgot about love. Sorry, love. I think this is your dad. Who's love? Who? Stop it. <laughs> All right, I have thrown it over to Love. Very interesting. Love, how do you feel about that? You can't ask people. I know, I'm testing you, you guys. Be of the game. Uh, what do you mean? Hmm, I wonder whose mom this could be. <laughs> there's basically two options, right? I mean, there's Lena and What's AB. so fucking funny, Zach? <laughs> I have never seen that woman in my life. <laughs> Okay, so, is this A.B.? Well, wait, your mom... Your mom's white. See? Well, that narrows it down. This is well, Lena's mom. Actually, I see, I see the resemblance. Uh, shout out to Lena's mom here. It's gotta be. Thank you. Yeah, she looks just like you, actually, Lena. Eyebrows. You guys have the same eyebrows. Yeah, I guess since it's a kind of a giveaway, everyone says that I'm her twin. You guys have good eyebrow game, just to say. Oh, thank you. Matt, crazy eyebrow game. Thank you. I know a lot about eyebrow game because Ela has a good eyebrow mm. game, and I hear that all the time. Right. So I know I respect a good eyebrow. <laughs> Moving on. That was actually Dan's mom, by the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is literally Zach. <laughs> <laughs> that's just Zach. Isn't that crazy, though? <laughs> like, that's fucking hilarious. He looks just like... I know. Him. It's very bizarre. But the thing is, I don't look like my dad when he was younger. I look like my dad when he, like, hit puberty and matured. How old is he in this photo? Shit. Uh, he, he might be my age. Mm. Yeah. Early 20s? Yeah. You guys both have that glowing red cheek. Yep. Sweet young men, long, beautiful hair. I, I just particularly love his, like, his, um, 
his fro he's got going on. Like, yeah, it's uh, interesting. A Jew fro? His, his perm. More of like a Jew mullet. Yeah, exactly. It's a like dullet. a perm. A yeah. dullet. Yeah. <laughs> but that, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. It's wow. Literally are you, are you becoming Todd, Zach? I mean, we look alike. I mean, I've looked like him my whole life, even when I, I was a kid. And what's wild is Zach's brother looks exactly like Zach as well. And so all the men in the family is just clones. Strong genes. <laughs> yeah. Clones. You're Todd, Betty. Yeah. Shout out Todd. Beautiful young man. Love that for him. That's awesome. <laughs> it's just you. I know, it's weird. Okay, this is an interesting one. It's like an actress. Famous actress over here. Beautiful woman. I mean, I'm getting Sam vibes. <sighs> getting Sam vibes. But there's a lot of options at this moment. Mm. What do you guys think about this one? Kate Bush. She does just look like Kate Bush, huh, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, a little bit. Thank you. Testing you. Some people are saying Cam. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. Cam or Sam. Or Ian. I don't know what Ian's mom looks like. Shit. You don't really know what any of our moms look like. <laughs> this is a tough one. Or people are saying Dan as well. Oh, God. I don't know where to take this one. Hmm. Wham. <sighs> Wham. I know Sam's mom's a southern belle, right? Uh, no. She's, she's not, not She's not from the south, but she okay. lives there currently. Fuck. And the answers are all over the place in chat. You guys are not helping me at all. You're just spamming everybody's name. <laughs> I'm even seeing Lena's. See love, Ian. All right. <sighs> I I I my gut my instinct was Sam. Because I I don't know. There's just you guys are no help in the chat. Sam Temple, think of the gifted sub. Think of a gifted. Oh, this is interesting. Wow. Who is this? Wow. That's Cam's dad. It's gotta be, right? Who is my daddy? <laughs> Looking dapper, having a nice coffee. There's something in the eyes that's like exactly Cam. Hmm. You're smiling though. Is that your dad, AB? Mm. What do you guys think? It's actually mine. Tell your dad again. They're all. They're all. They're all thrust. Cam's dad. Every single parent is thrust. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cam. I'm feeling Cam. Some people are saying Sam. Yeah, I'm gonna go Cam. I see Cam in his face. I just do. I see Sam. Well, you, you you don't know the answer. No, I don't. You see Sam? A little bit. I'm, I, don't, I don't know that. I see, I see Cameron's face there, dude. Wait, cut to me. Yeah, cut to Cam. Oh, you know what it is? They have the they have the same glasses. Wait, wait, I can't see what you pulled up. <laughs> oh, it's because here. I see Olivia. Ooh, dude. I see Olivia too. Oh shit! Ooh, yeah. Now you guys really got me confused. I gotta go with my gut. Uh, Cam, Cam, Cam. Okay, we're throwing it on Cam. Camely. Camely. Who is this, uh, beautiful young woman? What, uh, uh, eating, uh, a Swedish snack. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what does that say? For y'all, you're good. Mm. I actually didn't think of that. Dude, your mom is beautiful. <laughs> Thank how, old, you. how old is she in this photo? Probably like 23. Like one, That is just as she, before she, I wonder if that's right before I was born. Like a year before or something like that. What's she eating? A salami? Yeah, salami. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> we try to get photos around the time we were born. Right. For everyone. Okay, well. That's Love's yeah. uh, mom. We love her. Yeah, she was very young when, I, when she was. Mm -hmm. Oh, she had you young? Yeah, 24. That's cool. I get, maybe that's not super young, I don't know. No, it's, that's young. My mom was 19. Well, there you have it. 
Who the fuck are you? Who is that? Hmm. That is interesting, isn't it? Hmm. I'm seeing a little bit of Olivia. I'm getting super strong vibes from this one. I don't know who it is. You can tell if you don't know the answer, you can chime in. This is totally cam. It has to. You're getting cam vibes from that? Oh yeah. I don't know why. The eyebrows probably. The eyes. I don't know. Daddy. <laughs> Shit. I'm seeing a lot. I'm seeing lots of cams. I have some advice that could help you with every parent, but I don't. Go ahead. I'd say face shape is the most useful with every parent. Okay. That tip was so useful, you weren't sure if to say it or not. Because I didn't want to kill the game, because I thought I didn't want to make it this too easy. This ends the game. It's so good. It's such a good tip. <laughs> well, this gentleman has a very similar face shape. I don't see Cam's face shape in that. Hmm. I see Olivia's face shape in that. Hmm. I see... That's it. I see Olivia. What do you guys think? I see mine, dude. Zach, they're all Zach's dad. <laughs> you think this is it? Could it be Dan's Dan? Dad? Dad? Wan? Wad? Wad? <laughs> Wan's Wad? Wad? This is Wan's Wad. Guys, I, I, now everyone's can be Cam's dad. Everybody's saying it, every get dad is Cam's. Hmm. People are saying, Ian, you know, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I've seen a picture of Ian's dad. He looks just fucking like him. Wait, what? This is the integrity of the game. I'm just being honest. Why are you You showed me dad? a picture of him once. Oh. Once? I don't know if I remember. Fuck, who is this? Whose dad is this? <laughs> you guys are not helping me again. Dad-like. God, you guys are so unhelpful in the chat. 100% Dan. Daddy. So I'm, I'm torn between Dan and Olivia. I ain't your daddy. Let's put him in a, um, let's put him in Olivia's for now. Okay. Because Dan said the minute you see my dad, it'll be so obvious. And I just don't see it there. It's not super obvious to me. Okay, who's this? Golly, these are harder than I thought it'd be. Another beautiful young lady. Curly I hair. I've, I'm not going to give any hints, but I find this one to be as obvious as Zach's dad. That's how, like, obvious this one is to me. Is that Olivia? Or I don't see that, Dan. Everyone is my parent. It's not that obvious. The but smile think, and that, the jawline. I agree with that. Exactly the same. Clone. Yeah, it's Olivia's mom. Okay, so do we have a... So, so we got to take Olivia's mom back into the pile that I... My other mom? Yeah, your other mom. Sorry. Don't take her away. We're taking her out. So this is Olivia's mom. Interesting. If it is, it's not that obvious. Right. I'd what, say okay. Ian. What? I'd say Ian. If oh, so you don't even think that's Olivia's mom? No. Oh Just God. to throw a little bit of a curveball this at you. This is so hard. <laughs> oh, ha, 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 ha! <laughs> That's Ian's dad. <laughs> e. <laughs> Nailed that, dude. Dude, his look is just stellar. Oh, it's so awesome. cool. What a G, bro. He looks famous. Look at that earring, dude. Oh. That guy's that's an English man right there, isn't it? <laughs> that is one of the most British people I've ever in seen it. in my life. In it. Some beans and toast, eh? You know? I'm sorry if this in offends it. you, but... uh. He fucks, for sure. That guy fucks. Oh, he for sure The fucks, British dude. punk? Are you kidding me with that earring? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Everyone sees that this is Ian, right? No, dude, you guys all gotta stop. They're put, you're still typing. Yeah, it's Ian. Okay, everyone. It's not your ID. <laughs> it's not your ID, Ian's dad. That face shape is right on. Everything's happening here. Beautiful eyes. Your dad has beautiful eyes. What color are your eyes, Ian? Uh, well, I have, I have brown eyes. No, oh, you got um, shafted on the this. Eye. This guy, this man, this man, um, does have blue eyes. Yeah, I haven't seen him before. <laughs> this this strange man. Mm. All right, that's Ian's dad. I have blue eyes. Interesting. Mm. 
That's oh, Ian's dad, bro. <laughs> hey, nothing you guys can say to get in my head on that okay. one. Okay. Okay. Who is this? Oh my god. This is so hard. <laughs> huh. Oh. AB's mom is white. It could be AB's mom. She, right? My mom is white. Yeah, she's a white lady. Oh my god. Oh my. I think this might be AB's mom. Just throw me all the white women. <laughs> Where the white women at? <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? I'm seeing AB, Olivia. Guys, we already did Olivia. You guys are confusing the hell out of me. I see a little bit of Sam. Wait, Zach's? Zach's mom? I've met Zach's mom, but... I don't think that's her. Isn't that crazy I met your parents? It's pretty wild. Zach, you guys heard this story a thousand times, but Zach's dad was trying to be our realtor a few years ago when we were buying a house. And your mom used to always come. She, in fact, did. It's funny. We called him the Todd and Tuck. I think this is AB's mom. Okay. I've uh, thrown her over there. Okay. Interesting. Moving on. Oh, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Hold the phone. Wow. Love that jacket. This guy fucks, dude. This guy fucks. He's this guy very fucks. red. Who in here gets red? Shit. Could that be Cam's dad? I'm seeing a little Dan. Dan? Yeah. This is so hard. Wait, is that your dad, Dan? I don't know. I don't People know. are saying Cam. I'm actually seeing a Cam, which confused me because I already gave Cam a dad. I mean, he has two two dads. Maybe Dude, he even has three, like I the quartering. Know. I was going to say, you're one dad away from the quartering. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy. Well, he has three black dads. Three black three. dads and one white. Yeah. Yeah. He technically has four dads. Golly. Well, this gentleman has colored eyes. Yeah. Cam, what color are your eyes? Brown. So, strong jawline. Okay. High cheekbones. Okay. Beautiful jacket. Are you trying to say, you could say who you think it is. No, I, I, this is the one I had no clue. I think it's got, I, you know what? I'm putting him in Cam. We got to take that slick dad out. Or whoever that guy is. And we got to get Cam's dad in there. Okay, interesting. Oh, I see it, dude. He looks just like him when you see him next to each other. <laughs> don't they? They have like this same... I don't know. It looks like Cam now. Ugh. Do you guys see it? Do you see it? Uh -huh. Do you see it? <laughs> people are, some people are saying, Sam, I'm going to leave that in Cam's dad. <laughs> and we're going to have to move on here a little bit. Cam and Olivia are taking all of our parents. You're showing the audience the close-up of the photo, right, mm -hmm. Ian? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, shit. That's AB's mom. Take it back. Do you see it? Because I saw you were showing a picture of her. You have the hot mom who's, like, hot on the market. That's your mom. Yep. <laughs> How's your mom, by the way? She doing good? Lovely. Did any of your family see the show on Wednesday? Or on Monday? Uh, <laughs> no, but my mom's watching right now, I think. She is? I think so, yeah. Because I asked her for the picture, so. Your oh, mom. excuse you know she's going to be talked about. Hi, Your AB's mom. mom. Your mom. Don't watch Monday's episode, okay? Chat got it. Got what? Nothing. Bro, stop. What, that she's watching? Is that some kind of joke? No, 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 no. They're just saying it's clearly my mom. Oh. I'm trying to make it seem like I'm not getting your jokes again. That's AB's mom, though. You could switch out. Um... I did. Yeah, okay, okay. Swapped it. <laughs> okay, interesting. Shout out AB's mom. How are you doing? You can call in if you want, if you're watching. You can give her the link, AB. She won't. I doubt it. She won't. You can try. <laughs> I'd like to say hi to that mom. 
You should. No, it'd be funny. You should go toe to toe with her. <laughs> what a what? A, am I pushing too hard? It's funny. No, no, you push as hard it's as you funny. want. I guarantee you should. Zach just being Jesus. <laughs> what was wrong, Zach? I think it was just so blunt. <laughs> Love to talk to that mom. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding around. I think about dads. <laughs> <laughs> who the who is this? This one is obvious to me. Really? I've probably been wrong every time I said that this far, though. That is a very powerful mustache. <sighs> Extremely powerful. Yeah. Let's see. There's. Well, Dan is Let's like just... a blank slate now. Let's you... just say I, I I I might guess why Dan doesn't like mustaches. <laughs> Maybe. You think it's Dan's dad? Yeah. He has beautiful blue eyes, which Dan shares that characteristic. Oh my God. People are saying Sam. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I can't imagine what Sam's dad looks like. Sam has beautiful blue eyes, too. And also similar eyebrows. Hmm. Torn between Sam. You know what? I think it's Sam's dad. Where's your daddy? I think we've found Sam's dad. All right, throwing it down. Interesting. Oh, that's Olivia's mom. Right? Well, you have somebody as Olivia's I have mom a lot already. Of mothers. Fuck, that's like your fifth mom. Yeah. <laughs> that's Olivia's mom. Who else's mom? The, the... Who are you guys? Th it's Olivia, right? It's got to be. I don't know this Zach one. Zach doesn't have a mom. I thought that was Olivia's mom. I feel like I know what Zach's mom looks like. You thought that was Olivia's mom? When I first saw it, yeah. I feel I see like it's ex exact. That has to be Olivia's mom. It's like a, the face shape is like identical, dude. So we switch him out. Right. This is your fifth mom of the day. It is. Maybe I'll like this one a lot. We'll see. <laughs> That's got to be Olivia's mom. Okay, moving on. Oh, okay, interesting. The stud. That's Zach's, that's gotta be, I mean, that's gotta be Dan's dad. I feel it. It's gotta be, right? Let me see, Dan, can you look at the camera? That, dude, it's Dan, <laughs> he looks just like Dan. He looks just like Dan, dude. That guy fucks, dude. He had to get it like his face all obscured and shit too, so I wouldn't see it right away. That's gotta be Dan's dad. Yeah, everyone's spamming Dan. Funny. Wham. Moving on. Damn. Okay, who's this? Who's this? <laughs> Easy. Easy, <I'm>, Tiger. <laughs> just saying. You guys have some beautiful moms. <laughs> That's a compliment. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me, baby. <laughs> when did I get the beautiful world? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby. God, you're so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> ben, get out of here. I'm gonna kick Ben out. Let's go, let's, let's go have lunch. Let's go have lunch. Let's get out of here. Because I love you. Whose mom is this? Golly. Whose mom is this? This is another one. To me, this one is like instant pick. Sam. Sam. I see Sam's face. So wait. Is that Sam's 20th mom, too? Not That's 20. Sam. That's Sam. It's got to be, right, guys? Wait, Zach? Shit, I forgot about Zach's mom, too. Fuck. Man, she's so fucking sexy. It's not <laughs> Stop, man. Wait, Zach wouldn't play that about his own mom. There's no shot. Oh. No shot. Saying, a little meta gaming. <laughs> no fucking shot. Maybe I would because I'm just fucking nuts. Yeah, he <laughs> might have done it. Anyways. No, I'm going to say Sam for now. I'm going to say Sam. Well, so are we, we swapping then? Yeah, for now. I'm going to go over my answers. Z Zach, if you play that for your own mom, we got to talk after the show. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me, baby. I have the great luxury of coming. <laughs> <laughs> There's no shot you would play that for your mom. Who the f what? What? Whoa, whoa. Ali. Who is he? <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I know him. 
Wait, where's what happened to AB's dad too? I feel like I know this guy. I've been asking myself the same question for years. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't your? It, But this is like a totally white dude. Your dad is, Daddy. is Arabic, right? Yeah. I'm neon. I might be racially profiling, but that is not. That just looks like a white ass dude. No. Got ki <laughs> killer hair, dude. But but at the same time, he does look like AB. Isn't that weird? Straight hair too. Do you have straight hair? Yeah. 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 Big ass eyes. Definitely. Daddy. Fuck. Does this guy look Arabic to you, uh, AB? <laughs> no. No. But neither do I. That guy's name... You look Arabic. You think so? That guy's name is Bradley. A little he, bit. He Enough. Now, <laughs> wait, his name's Bradley? <laughs> and he skates. I'm just... Oh, you're a kid. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Saying that exactly. Is not, that this, is not an Arabic man. Exactly. This is Bradley, bro. <laughs> this, yeah. is, this ain't no Abraham or whatever. Brad lives <laughs> in Venice, dude. He Muhammad. fucking parties. Exactly. Dude. That's he what fucking takes gnarly bong ribs like this guy fucks, dude. <laughs> that wallpaper is very Arabic. It is? How is that oh. like in a... What? I feel like it's pretty standard. Oh, no. We got flowers on everything. <laughs> so you trying to tell me this is your dad? Because you already made it one joke about it. No, it's not my dad. Because my mom's white. Like we're <laughs> like this would be I'd be too white. Yeah. Oh fuck. Then whose dad is this? Could well the Olivia pot potentially because I don't think that's Olivia's dad who we pegged there. In fact, you can rem remove Olivia's dad. So we don't have Lena's dad. We don't have. I don't, so, um, fuck, so, Cameron, it's not Dan, it's not Ian, I guess it could be Sam's, Love we have pegged, look, this is basically the same photo, look at Love's family photo above him, <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like the same photo, fuck, alright, put it on AB for now, because I just, I have no other guess, somehow your dad's Brad, <laughs> How the fuck is your dad Brad, bro? I don't know, man. Alright, now I gotta go through this one more time, so I'm super confused. Okay, so this lady is homeless right now. <laughs> this has gotta be Zach's mom. Yeah, this is Zach's mom. Which one are you looking at? Okay. The top one, the first one. This has gotta be Zach's mom. Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, so we're gonna send I that see, to I see Zach here. Got it. Okay. Moving down. This uh, is Love's dad. Right. This is a or Lena's mom. Mm -hmm. Lena, is your dad also Arabic? Yeah, he is. Okay. <laughs> Zach. This one's a stumper, man. Let me see. Oh, it could be Cam's mom, eh? That one. That one's easy for me. You think that's Cam's mom? I didn't say that. You can guess, you, unless you know. I think that's Cameron's mom. Now that I'm limiting the options here. Okay. So that's Putting it over on camera. Okay. Oh, you know who else? It could be Ian's mom. We don't have one for Ian yet as well. That's true. Wow. Is that Ian or Cam's mom? Well, I have it under... You know, people are saying Sam's mom. I, I personally see Sam, but I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Didn't I already have her for Sam? Or no, I changed it out. Yeah, you swapped. It was originally was oh, Sam. Wow. This is a tough one. This is a wild card. This might be Ian's mom. This might be Ian's mom, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Okay, let's Placed put her there. there. For now. Wow, this one's tough. This one, this man is a mystery to me. Oh, this guy's Arabic for sure. I just figured it out. I'm gonna sound like that. This guy, <laughs> this, this guy's Arabic for sure. <laughs> And he's doing some kind of official shit. He's in a suit. Lena, what's your dad do for a living? Construction. This is your dad, A.B. So his dad isn't Brad, is what you're saying? Brad? No, no, no. Get Brad out of there. Okay. Uh, there's a nice being. That's your dad for Wait, sure, for A.B. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy, this is, this is the Arabic dad wild card, I think. Also, he's very light-skinned, which I think explains your white passingness. Or okay. the white mother. Uh, we know her. Shout out. <laughs> I want that. Whatever she's eating. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Mm, 
it's been a huh? It's just salami, bro. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> the salami? That's not the only thing I want to slice of. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Chat is saying Lena's dad is Brad. <laughs> 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 okay, now who the fuck is this? This one is really confusing. I, this is by far the easiest for me. Why do you I like that one's that? easy? I really do. I, I feel like it's easy. Okay, let me look through here. So almost on the level of some of the other ones. It could be Olivia. It could be. He doesn't look Arabic to me. That looks like a white dude. See, for me, it's almost like the level of my dad. Yeah. Yeah. What? All of us. I feel like it, this one is like an instant pick. What? Yeah. I'm trying to see what if chat thinks so too. It takes a minute for chat to catch up, which doesn't help for me. What? You guys think this is an easy one? Wait, everyone's saying Cam. Seriously? This guy or this guy? For Cam. What? Yeah, let's put him. Let's put him right next. Wait, to everyone. Him. No, you guys. There's not. Ugh, there's not a united front. In the chat on this. Here, what do you think? Can we do a poll? Can I tr can I do a poll? Ask the audience. Maybe I get one poll, right? I need some like. Sure. Why not? Some uh, millionaire. Who is it between? Yeah. So it'd be Who's between Cam. Is... Cam. Or. Uh, Sam. Sam. <laughs> nice music chain. Or. Show. Uh, zoom out. Let me see. It'd be Cam. Olivia Damn. Olivia needs a dad. Olivia needs a dad. Yeah, and Olivia, I guess. Let's see what the voting is. This is my uh, lifeline. All right, here's the lifeline. Here we go. Yeah, these answers are everywhere. I don't know whose mom, whose dad this is. Bring up the picture again. I think it's a little bit confusing. Yeah. Whose dad is this, chat? Okay, we're taking it. Oh, wow. Cam's dad has a commanding lead with 75%. I guess in the eyes, I do see it. This man is a hunk, Cam. He looks kind of jacked. Muscular, nice beard, beautiful hair. Talk to me, baby. Fuck. There's something about the smile of the other guy that's throwing me off, though, that looks, seems very Cameron. But the people have spoke... Oh, see, now it's getting... Uh, Let's just do Cam. I mean, I don't, apparently everyone says it's obvious. It's hard for me. Bring that guy back out. Okay. But to, to be fair, that poll was a little bit biased because I, th I bet a lot of people would have voted Cam on the other one too. Why? Because you, you only had like the vote on that one. I think both of them looked like Cam. I think, I think so too. They would both have, would have gotten well, a lot of Cam. Do you want to do it again for this other gentleman? I feel like we should. I already used my life against each other. Like I already used my one. I used my lifeline. No, okay. Okay, zoom out. So this guy's a mystery now. And then this is uh whose mom did we pick this for? Or she's off she's off. She's off the grid. So this is another one that everyone's like, oh this one's so obvious. Super obvious. She one of the easiest. She used to be my ones. mom. Was she a good mom? You during that time when she was yeah miss her <laughs> this could be cam's mom it could be could be well dan has a mom i would consider that possibility when <laughs> wow i don't know who the fuck this is w dan yeah, in fact it's just me and cam that don't have moms and olivia no olivia does no it's just the two of us wait where's olivia's dad no, we're saying mom. Oh, yeah. right. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say for now. Oh shit! And who's the other lady? Did that you? lady. Let me let me see. This Holy lady. Shit, wow, balls, eh? This yeah. lady or Holy this shit, lady? Balls. Fuck. I'm gonna say this one's you, Dan. Which one? The nice lady in the blue coat there. Okay. Having a toast. And I guess this means that this lady's Cameron, but I don't think that's right. I'm just, I'm just, Who the fuck is your dad, Lena? I think 
can't say. A can't say? What? I, how is one of these guys your dad? He said oh, wait, this guy's your dad, bro. This is another Arabic dude. I just spotted him. <laughs> wait, this is your dad for sure. Take him out. Can this I, is your dad, Lena. We, come we, by that Arabic dude. I just, Again. you know, sometimes it's hard to spot. But we, that, we be hiding. That dude's an Arabic. <laughs> so, so now <laughs> Sam. All right, I got you pegged, Lena. Sam and Olivia are the ones missing dads. So these oh, two shit. are all that remain. So who's who? So whose dad is this one? This one is so... Well, first of all, Brad. That's got to be Olivia's dad. Daddy. Because, like, who else's would it be? There are only two options left, so... Yeah, it's Brad. And that's Olivia. Wait, so your last name is Lopez? No, it's Lopes. It's Lopes. Oh, Lopes. It's, I mean, some people in my family Lopes. say Lopez. Lopes. We're white and Hispanic on my okay, dad's okay. side. Okay, okay. So... Your dad is Hispanic. Mm-hmm. Christopher Joaquin. Fuck. Because that's then, Brad. Okay. That just leaves this one for Sam. Oh my God. Is that the final okay, answer? That's it. That's the. Uh, that's it. We, we, that's this bet. I think that's as good as I'm gonna do. But I'll be honest. Um, you should show my parents too. Do we have pictures? We of them? do. Yeah. Would you be able to guess? I look a lot like my my mom, but I don't see anything in my dad. Oh yeah. Where do you think you get that amazing hairline? So true. Actually, I have my grandpa, yeah. my mom's dad's so. hair. Oh, really? My, yeah. But your dad, you know, he's up there in age, and he has full head of no, hair. No, he has good hair. Yeah. He, he does have good hair. But, but you mean like the widow's peak is your mom's side? Dude, I have the same hair. My grandpa, he died when he was like 92. Fucking full dark head of hair. Hell yeah. Same curly ass shit. Not died? No. <gasps> okay, I know, play. it's insane. I know. Well, I got my dad's grays, but I got okay. But okay, let's let's take let's take a look. So I, I think how we should do this is we'll go from left to right, <laughs> and people will verify if you got it right. If you didn't on one or the other, I'll then remove them from the pool, and then I'll at the very end I'll reveal all of the correct answers. So Olivia, those are my parents. You got. Yo! Yeah. Yes. Yep. Is your da so your dad's Hispanic? Is barely he's white and Hispanic. He's so he's barely. half half. Yeah, Italian. And is he a skateboarder? Cool ass motherfucker. He's a hockey player. Oh, mm -hmm. there you go. His name's Chris, which is close to Brad in a way. Yeah, the white very. Chart. <laughs> yeah, he's always been a joke. I would have laughed if he said Brad because I didn't actually know his <laughs> name. I just kind of like picked what I thought. And he your mom, like. your mom looks uh, very similar. What's her story? Her name is Brenda. She's a queen. She's from queen? Long Island. Queen. Brenda got nice. a baby. She Jewish? Mm -mm. Oh, just everyone's there is Jewish in Long Island. <laughs> uh, so then all right, up, well there you have it, Cameron. Olivia. God, can't this one is so hard for me. I see it in the eyes, to be honest. Now that I'm looking at Cam's dad, the eyes. But Cameron, go ahead and tell us. How did we do? That is not my mom. Okay, but it is your dad. That is my dad. But okay. the fact the fact that you struggled so much with that in like chat was like very high on there like are you face blind or something dude like <laughs> it looks so much dude, like his yeah. eyes his his beard his my head face shape. blind i mean it's like it's cam i see that the eyes. i don't know cam squint your eyes right <laughs> oh there he is oh i can't uh, well i got I the right say, answer so what the you, fuck you did get the right answer. yeah yeah you got it yeah but it, it took a bit to it get there and oh. and the fact that uh, i don't even say i'll get back to it later yeah we'll get back to it all right Lena. well your dad by the way your dad is a hunk, man. He's super, he's jacked. Yep, I miss you, Dad. You were a bodybuilder, and I oh, he you. was a bodybuilder for a little bit, yeah. There rest, you go. Rest in peace, Dad. All right, you the goat. That. Yeah, it's all good. The all right. goat. Hmm. Oops. All right, Lena. I feel confident, Lena. What did What did I get here? Yes, those are my Arabic looking. Yeah. Nailed it. Fucking spotted your dad. I knew Lena's dad would be a wild card with blonde hair and blue eyes. <laughs> but <laughs> once you, yeah. That's in, yep, 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 yep. But he oh, does we, also look very Arab, so. Yeah, he's got the vibe. Mm -hmm. He does have the vibe. Uh, AB? Dude, that's gotta be your dad, AB. Tell me I'm wrong. That's my father. Yes! Nailed it. That's your dad. Your dad is an interesting guy, huh? Yep. That's him training to be a lawyer, right? Yep. I working, pegged him. Working at the gas station at night and then going to law school during the day at that time. That's why he looked like he That's a hustle, life. man. Yeah. They had me young. Too bad he's got a new family now. Yeah, they get to enjoy the good shit. <laughs> I get to. I saw that look for twenty years. <laughs> oh shit! I like his 
build though. He looks interesting. He got like a big face. My dad. Not in a bad way. No, my Not dad's... in a bad way. He's got a prominent face. My dad's Jack. He's yeah. Jack? Yeah. He was a boxer when he was younger. Is he handsome? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful man. Zach, that's got to be your shit. That's got to be your parent. That is not my father. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> is that your mom? That, I that, is, that is my beautiful mother, Stacy. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Nailed it. You, you love... played those sound bites about her? Oh, no, no, no. That was a different one. Yeah. A that different a mom. One. Yeah. Got it. I was right on that one. <laughs> By the way, you, Zach, I don't know. I see your, them, your face is like so much like both of theirs. I know. I have my, my mom's nose. Uh... I can really tell that and like you've but, got cheeks you got you share her cheeks yeah but then I get my my dad's red Everything face else. and it's like it, it is it is like a perfect mix yeah okay so far so good not bad huh? not bad not we've bad. only got one wrong yep. Ethan I wonder, wonder if you right? would have got my dad right you know I wonder I don't think you would have got it right this one is a big question mark for me confidence is low but t Dan how okay. do you go uh, that is my father. Okay. That is not my mother. Oh, shit. Okay, all right. Okay. At least I got one right. You got one right. Uh, Ian? I know that's Ian's dad. No question. Uh, I've never seen that bruv in my yeah, life. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, that, that bruv is my your dad. That's my dad. That is not my mom. Shit, okay. Yeah, those ones were hard. Damn, okay. Interesting. And then... Samantha? Sam, what do, what's going on here? Those are my parents. Oh my god! <laughs> Whoa! You, you know how I caught on is when we put them next to each other, because it looks like the same photo shoot. Is that, is they from the same photo? <laughs> I think it is. They were on their honeymoon trip, and so I think they were just super tan. <laughs> uh, yo, that's true! The tux is Look incredible. Wait, was that the one we were doing the sound bites about? Yes. yes. Yes, it is. Zach, come on, have some respect. <laughs> you guys think it's a joke. All right. Anyway. Have, have some respect. All right, and then love. Did we get those? Of course. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. The two most Nordic looking people in this whole lineup are, of course, <laughs> love your parents, parents yeah. though. Is that you? Thank you. Is, is that you as a baby love? Yes, sir. Are you an only I child? Am. Yep, I am. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I get told that I look a lot like my parents, so. Yeah, I yeah, think it makes sense that you got that. Definitely see it. So we have three. Did were your moms. did your parents always tell you that your mom was hot, love, or is that an American thing? Mm, no, my no, not really. And my parents has been divorced since I was like two years old, so I, my, I've never really heard my parents talk oh, in that way about each other. Yeah. And and you live with your dad, right? Well, growing up, I, I lived the half half, so oh. just back and forth. Uh, but when I started working, I needed like a big PC, uh, and I couldn't like bring it back and forth, obviously. So, so now I just live with my dad. I see, I see. Do your, yeah. Does your mom and dad live in the same town? Yeah, we both oh, live in, nice. in the same city. Yeah, um, that's they've nice. always been very, very friendly with each other. No, nothing nice. weird like that. Yeah, it's very nice. Is your mom single or? Mm, yeah, both my parents are. Yeah. Man. Any chance of getting them back together? Parent no, trap? I don't think so. Because if they're both single, they have a kid. They have so much in common. Be a slay segment. Can we get uh, yeah. a parent trap going? All right. All right. So I've I've put the wrong moms above where you had them. So you need to shuffle these three around. All right. I got to get this right. Yeah. So let's focus on Cam's mom here. Can you bring them together and zoom in so I can put them all above Cameron so I can, yeah. Yeah, give me a zoom there. Okay. Cameron, we got your dad. We got your dad. How do you not see this? Bro, Come yeah, on, I know, dude. Just, just look at that picture of Cam. Yeah. And then look. I mean, I don't remember which one I chose for him originally. It was the blonde lady on the left here. Okay. Because that's the one I still see. <laughs> Right, so I mean, I could just remove that because we know that one's wrong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so it's between mm -hmm, these mm -hmm. two. Fuck. I'm gonna say the the curly haired lady. Okay. Which would make this my y mom. Your mom. Wow, is that your mom? That's so interesting. And then that lady's Ian's mom? That makes sense to me. Oh, I forgot Ian. But. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do here in the reshuffle? That is the correct alignment. Wow. That's okay. everybody. For all of them? 
That's everybody's correct. Wow. wow. I, you know, I think we did pretty Bro, well. This, look, this is gender swapped cam. Like how do you, know, how like do you, that? Look at that smile. I feel dude. like that's one of the easiest ones. Look you at guys, that smile. Ready? Uh, yeah, all, they're all the easiest. <laughs> no, no but look at this. They're the, that's the same person. Look at Cameron's beautiful punum. Wait, let me see. And there's my phone. So your mom, interesting, very straight hair. Mm -hmm. Beautiful mom, by the way. Thank you, thank you. And your parents are happily together, right? They are. Okay. So you're saying there's no chance? There's no chance for you? Yeah. Yeah, no, sorry. Okay. Not happening. Well, I'm happily married, too. So yeah, right. Fine. Of course. And then... This one makes sense to me now that I see it. The lovely couple. But... But I, boy, do I see your dad's... I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. That was pretty fun, huh? That was fun. That seemed pretty into it. Meet everybody's parents. He said, Dan, your mom and Cam's have the same smile, in my opinion. I mean, I could see it a little bit. Did my internet just go out? You think they're sisters? No. <laughs> could be. <laughs> Mom's got a big family, so. Well, that was fun. Thanks for playing. Who's the parent game? Woo! Brought to you by 23andMe. Just kidding. <laughs> I wish. But 23andMe, reach out. Thanks for playing. Now we're going to play Who's the Hottest? No, I'm just kidding. That'd be horrible. Um, and were you guys, did you guys have any trouble with your parents getting these photos? Or were they all pretty happy to participate? My parents were happy to participate. They're frequent watchers, so they'll probably Oh, be yeah, excited. I love your parents. My dad, mostly my dad. Your dad. My mom occasionally watches. Dude, I love your dad. What's your name? Larry. Larry. Shout out, Larry. My boy. We're dogs. <laughs> I would dab up your dad if I ever met him. <laughs> I've my always said... Also uh, watches every... Oh, sorry. Not, not on the same level as uh, Jimmy and your dad, but your dad and my dad would be fast friends. That's interesting. Yeah. And But would your dad be... Larry and would, Gary. Would you... <laughs> Hold on, would your dad be friends with Jimmy then by transitive property? No, I don't think my dad would care for Jimmy. <laughs> uh, well, my he, dad loves uh, Dan. Well, your dad, your dad loves me? Yeah. Well, your dad looks like he fucks. Dude, so. <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure he knows. He looks well, like a Brad who fucking yeah. thirsts, dude. Wait, what, how does your dad feel about me? Loves. Okay, good. Okay, good. But yeah. he's always like, Dan, he was on it. Oh. <laughs> your dad watches? Yeah, sometimes. Shout out. Man. Shout out Brad or Alex. Brad. Chris. Chris. Alex. Chris. Chris. Right. Alex. Said, uh, baby picks next. Maybe we can do that next week. We can all bring oh, in baby versions of ourselves. Fun. And that'd be fun. Try and figure out. It'd be a lot easier. Infant, but... toddler, and like middle age. So you're <laughs> all your parents yeah. were willing participants. Yeah. Interesting. Well, I texted you know. my dad for a photo, and he didn't reply. I still haven't heard back from him, but he's in Lebanon, so I'm guessing it's something to do with the service. Uh, where had you get it? From your mom? No, I just had photos, but I wanted to see if there was one that he preferred. Oh, oh okay. Interesting. My mom had a very mom moment first, because I, I explained all of like what we were doing, and she was down. And then she sent me a photo, which was a nice photo, but it was like a photo from when she was in a play or something, and it's like from halfway back in the audience and she's like really tiny <laughs> and i'm like this doesn't really help for like what we're trying to accomplish by the way but your dad photo was very hard to spot just because it was like so, dark lots of hair i remembered this photo and i specifically asked my dad to send this one because most photos of my dad it would be like like zach's basically it would be mm -hmm. and you still got it pretty much instantly so there you go next we can guess each other's social security number <laughs> That sounds great. Uh, my mom just texted me and said, tell Zach he's my fave. Let's go. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> Zachary. So Thank you, Denise. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I'll tell you what. We learned a lot. We, come, we came a long way. How long have we been going? There's we've been going for just a hair under three hours. Yeah, because do you guys want to do my uh, the one dedicated to my biggest hater? The one... I mean, I vote yes. I got it. Okay, so we're going to do that. I got to pee. Oh, I gotta pee. I gotta pee. So everybody oh, stay. That. Yeah, no, it's going to be fun. It's that. very funny. I'll be right back. I got the grand too, finale. Man. I've been dying during this whole segment. So uh, I sent my mom <clears throat> the Zoom link a while ago. She and here? <laughs> she just she's not in the lobby. She's not in the lobby. Not yet. Yeah. But that'll be interesting if yeah. you were to uh, 
join in. I was kind of curious how that would go. Kind of interested. <laughs> would she go in on Ethan? For Possibly. One My mom's really good on her toes, so okay. I'm curious. I think she might talk about your dad. Everything, Lisa, my dad. Yeah. <laughs> He said, Dan's mom was so obvious because of what he said about her working on Sesame Street, and that pic was very professional looking, big headshot vibes. Uh, that is correct. That was a headshot from when she was an actress. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. that's Wait. very good logic on their part. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yes, indeed. Was she ever in a movie with Bruce Willis that you know of? No. Okay. <laughs> she, I thought she, she looked a lot like the girl from Pulp Fiction to me, uh, Bruce Willis' girlfriend in that movie. <laughs> oh. It's not they a chop like a, a baby. Similar, uh, haircut. Yeah. Yeah. No, that is not. It's not your mom. I would have mentioned if my mom was in a Quentin Tarantino. Movie. I don't know, man. You'd be humble, so. <laughs> <laughs> I was pretty stoked to look like AB's dad. Yeah, dude. A you're... legend. <laughs> He's a legend. You have a Middle Eastern dad, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Well, Donna. I'm gonna get a okay. photo uh, from my dad. I called. I call. I kept calling. You wouldn't answer, and I called my brother. And he's like, oh, he's in the woods. <laughs> he's like, in the how long woods. has he been in the woods? He's been like three days. <laughs> he, that, he just go like, that's his new thing. He just goes into the woods. Wilderness man, huh? Yeah. Is he's just big, camping? Yeah. He goes like out dope. in desolation wilderness, like by himself huh. for like a week. That's the dream right that's there. That's awesome. Your yeah. dad's like Jack, Ian, right? Yeah. Like I don't know what yet. happened. Like this guy's out in the woods, Jack, doing God knows what. There's this guy, and there's. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel that. I was I was trying to look for a picture of my dad that doesn't look like me, but that's just impossible. That doesn't <laughs> exist. It does not exist. Yeah, you guys are like clones. I know. That Django Boba Fett thing going. Nah, on. I know. It's weird. So is this the photo that looked the least amount like you? I guess. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I saw it and I was like, why did Zach give a photo of himself? <laughs> but yeah, his oh, hair yeah. his hair rolled back in the day. My, my yeah. Sure. <laughs> should should we? Yeah. We should give him a heads up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, his mom in the maybe in the waiting room. Maybe. Hey, Ethan. <laughs> There's somebody on the line who wants to speak to you. You. Yo, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Wait, is that AB's mom? That's my mom. AB's mom is here. Yes. You ready? You asked for it. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't expect this. I mean, you... you bring start. her on, bring her on. All right, here we go. Stand by. Gotta make sure I look good. Stop. <laughs> All right, let's just give it a second. What's, what's her name? Rhonda. Rhonda. Is giggling in the back? I feel like I'm prank calling your mom or something. <laughs> no, I don't know if this is... Waiting on the uh... love. Your dad watches every episode. That's so cool. Yeah, uh, he. I think he skims through oh. until he sees me. Rhonda. Uh, er, still can't hear. The audio isn't connected yet. Rhonda. Yeah. Oh. There's uh, someone in the car next to her. Still. Oh, better not be. Oh. It... Do you know who? That, who is that? It's her boyfriend. Who is it? It's her boyfriend. <laughs> oh my. It's your friend. It's her boyfriend. Her boyfriend. boyfriend. Her boyfriend. Oh. Mom, how you gonna disrespect me? You see, it's not the <laughs> jokes. I can't understand what he says. I don't know why. The Jewish guy, right, A.B.? Fuck you, Zach. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> uh, the this is a real mom. Uh, yeah, this, this is, is Donna vibes, right? <laughs> yeah. This is Donna hey. in the... At least... Hey! <laughs> All right. A.B.'s <laughs> mom calling into the show. How about this, huh? How are you? Good, how are you? Very good. Hi, Mom. Hi, what's going on? I, I heard you were very beautiful, and you are, so it's nice to see you. Uh, AB uh, said lots of nice things about you. Okay, awesome. He mm -hmm. says nice things about you, too. Okay, good, <laughs> good. So we're on the same page there. Uh, so, um, gee whiz, where do we go with this one? <laughs> How, are you, so, are, are, you know, do you, you probably miss AB, right? You moved to L.A., you don't see him as yeah. much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, we most definitely miss him. He yes. Yeah, you guys talk. How often do you guys talk on the phone? Uh, every so often, like once a week. Does he call you enough, Rhonda? No, he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> how often He's does he call you? 
he calls me more now that he's in California than he did when he was here. So <laughs> I like guess that's good. <laughs> like once a week or less than that? No, once or twice a week. Once or twice a week. And and you would prefer to talk to him every day probably, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Is there, can we make that happen, Ab? I mean, she is your mom. Oh, for any anything, yeah, of course, whatever you want, mom. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> okay. Cool. And um, can I say hi to your uh, uh lovely Jewish boyfriend? <laughs> hi. What's your name? I'm also I'm also Jewish. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hi, Steve. Steve. Hey, Ab, how are you? Good. How are you? No. No. Ab put forth a theory. That, sh that, uh, uh, sorry, what's your mom's name again? Rhonda. Rhonda may be dating a Jewish man as a, to spite, uh, her ex husband. Do you think that has any, uh, credence? Not to say that she doesn't like you for who you are, but maybe that's a subconscious, uh, factor. It certainly is a, uh, a not very common dynamic. Right. <laughs> There it is. Story of my life. So yes, in other words. <laughs> well, nice to meet well, you, Steve. No, I do not believe that's behind the, her motivation. Okay, okay, sure, yeah. Absolutely. It is A.B. said that. Those are A.B.'s words, not mine. No, Steve's a good guy. <laughs> Me and my siblings all give the, the thumbs up. Steve, what do you do for a living? I'm in the commercial real estate business. Right. Wow. Okay, let's go, Steve. Mm. Uh. <laughs> nice. Excellent. Okay, fantastic. Uh, do you talk to Steve when you call or just your mom? <laughs> just my mom. Yeah, just your I mom. say tell him hi. Mm -hmm. you know, tell him hi. Third, How's he doing? First time we've talked on the phone, A.B. and I. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's weird. Uh, Steve, your stepson is, uh, or not a stepson. stepson. You guys aren't married. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> A.B., not yet. A.B. is uh, your, uh, let's say, honorary step. How do I refer to you guys' relationship? Well, we're friends. <laughs> Wait, he's a celebrity. How do you how do you guys feel about AB being a celebrity? I mean, that's really a question more for for your mom, isn't it? Well, I, I, Steve keeps up actually. You do, Steve. I, I've watched a little bit. Yeah, I've been entertained, and but I've been very impressed with uh, AB's story. How he ended up there and mm -hmm. what's going on for a period of time he's been there. It's. Uh, it's uh, beyond impressive, frankly. It's, in, it's inspiring, isn't it? Thank you, Steve. You're welcome, Amy. <laughs> yeah, okay, interesting. So are you guys living together or, or not yet? We live about five minutes apart. So no. Not yet, no. So how long have you guys been dating? What? About a year and a half. A year and a half? I mean, it, uh, I, 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 you mean at your guys' age, it's probably time to move in, don't you think? <laughs> I mean, is a lot younger than me. I mean, let's get let's get moving, Steve. <laughs> um, if you give me your number, I call you for some, you know, inside advice, maybe. Okay, I can. We can do that. I can set that up for you. Okay. Well, so what, are you, uh, what, are you, what are you all trying to accomplish here today? With that's these? a good question. I don't really know. Uh, <laughs> just trying to embarrass AB. I think Ethan wanted to see how hot my mom was, and then he got Sam Cedared when you were in the. <laughs> We're just saying no, that. That's, that's one question I would have of the show. Because every time I've watched it, I've said to myself, "What are they trying to accomplish today?" Yeah, <laughs> we kind of just meander. That's true. He asked yeah. me all the time. So, what do you guys? What, what do you guys do? Oh, yeah, we we don't know. We, we don't. don't know. We're still figuring it out. Yeah. Well, nice, uh, uh, nice chatting with you, Steve. Um, it's a pleasure. Uh, yeah, absolute pleasure. Talking. Keep it up. Are you a bar mitzvah, Steve? I am bar mitzvah, yes. Me too. <laughs> what was your Torah portion? Do you remember? No, that was, uh, what, 51 years ago, so no. Wow. Let me do the math on that. <laughs> that was before 64? you were born. Shit. 64. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me crunch the numbers on that. All right, thank you, Steve. Let me, let, 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 let me just say goodbye to uh, Rhonda. So, Rhonda, nice meeting you. Thanks for calling in. Thank you. Thanks for having us. And, A.B., I mean, call your mom more. I mean, that's kind of what we... Yeah. I agree. Yeah. yeah for sure. For That'd sure. be nice. I mean, it's the, least, be nice. it's the least he can do after everything you've done for him. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Bye, Mom. Bye. Bye, Steve. Bye, guys. Thanks for Bye. calling. Bye.
Nice talking to you guys. Nice chatting. You guys are a wonderful couple, and uh, let's get the ball rolling, okay? There's not much time. Thank you, Ethan. Bye, Mom. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. That was so interesting. Yeah. That was so interesting. The things I do to try and be entertaining on the show. Wow. Well, she called in. She was a reluctant call in. Did you have to like talk her into that or? No, I just sent her the link. I said if you want to call in, LOL, it might be funny. <laughs> she did not mention Steve. Steve's a great guy. I love that, meeting Steve. Yeah, yeah. You, you're, you're a fan. Well, we have a lot in common. Yeah, Maybe on After Dark, my dad and his girlfriend. Maybe the kids. <laughs> that would be awesome. I wouldn't say no to that. I'd love to chat with your dad and his girlfriend. Uh, this is weird, man. Much respect to you. You couldn't have paid me to do that, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You know what it is? I've been watching more Howard Stern, and I'm thinking, like, to just be as open as possible, because I always find that most entertaining, but... That's my policy. Yeah. But I can't, I can't put that policy on you guys, but I appreciate it. I mean, that was a great call. Nothing to be embarrassed about. Lovely. <laughs> you know, Steve's a legend, though, man. Yeah. Love him. Great guy. No, but in all seriousness, he really does, like, keep up. And no one else in my family, like, they barely even know your guys' names. You know? mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, well, that was... <sighs> Thank you to AB's family. Uh, up next week, his his dad and girlfriend. So, all right, let's move on to my biggest hater. This is something. So I've been, you know, sometimes I wonder, and you guys probably wonder too. Like, who are these people that obsess over trying to like expose me or something? Like, with the Teddy Fresh plagiarism thing, who's like people are curating this and constantly posting it everywhere. And we, I think um, AB brought something interesting to my attention. Some fucking fantastic clips. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. And they're fan. so funny. It's a, it's a conflict for me because, you know, obviously I love you and I'm a simp for the show, but I do love this person. I, I can't deny it. Well, his name is Bo Blocks. Boby. Boby. There's Boby. 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 And he, like, he's, it's just so funny. I mean, I got these clips of him having, like, a full-on... A uh, shit fit over me. <laughs> it's just so funny. Look how much he cares about it. This was on Twitter. I clicked on Bo Black's stream and this literally happened. So here, let's see. Let's watch. These are my haters. <laughs> Shout out. Just to give some context, right before this clip, Love says Keem's audio is off or delayed. I don't right, know. we were watching Keem uh, uh, you know, get all angry about the Teddy Fresh shit, and uh, we were criticizing. Um, yeah. Remember, he was wearing the headphones and stuff, and his audio was all out of sync, and he had a it microphone, very, but it very... wasn't being used. Recording on his phone. Yeah. Just really yeah. bothered. It was horrible. Yeah. Honestly, horrible. Yeah, yeah terrible horrible audio. production quality. Yeah. Dog okay. shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> Dog shit, yeah. <laughs> and um, by the way, uh, by the way, his whole fucking recommended bar is vi shit. People of making fucking shit videos about <laughs> the rise and fall of Ethan Klein. Ethan Klein is guilty. I mean, bro, do you just what? Like, do you have any other hobby? Full time in your job. Life? Holy Full time shit. job, dude. Just give him a chance. Bobby. This. Two of the six videos showing here are videos shitting on me. <laughs> but okay, 929 viewers. That's pretty significant. Let's watch. Audio is slightly delayed. Talk about the allegations! <laughs> Talk about these, this, this, this is why I'm watching. I don't give a fuck about Keemstar's audio levels. The audio levels right now on my stream are probably way too fucking loud. I fucking fuck, 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 fuck. Talk about the allegation. Audio. Yo, that was literally the Joker. <laughs> I'm having a spaz about Batman. Talk about the allegation. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude. Uh, so, these, these are my haters. Oh my god. I, fuck, I fucking love that shit, man. Just the soundbite potential in that is just yes. it's um, beautiful. It's that, a symphony. Uh, Why is he so angry? What did I fucking do? Uh, oh, the allegation? You didn't talk about the allegation. You know talk about the allegation! <laughs> you know what's wrong with uh, the Batman? <laughs> Every time he's accused of something, he doesn't address it. 
then like the noises he made at the end. I fucking fuck fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like Eric the actor material, man. Like it's just uh, it's perfect. Gotta, I gotta watch this one more time. Boba, There's actually more Boba like this though. Sure. People are saying dude is 15. He's actually 25. Yeah, no, he's not. <laughs> I, I wanted to make sure he wasn't a child before mm -hmm. I did this, and yeah. so we. Nice try, Shad. Nice yeah, try. Nice he's try. fucking 25. Yep. Yeah, try to kill our fun another another way. Not happening. <laughs> Yo is slightly delayed. Talk about the allegations! <laughs> I am such a big fan. You guys. Also, he's wearing a shirt that says retard station. <laughs> yes, indeed. Excuse me using that vulgar word. I think that's his merch. Oh, he sells that? I'm almost, I'm, I'm not making a joke. I really think it is. I think that's Ricky Burwick's. Oh, Ricky's. Okay, yeah, I need somebody's out. merch. Is that a, that's a play on PlayStation. Yeah. Those words right. don't even sound similar, though, so it's not that clever, is it? No. It should be a play on words. It's Bobby logic, man. It just, just is. It's Bobby. While yeah. talking about stolen shirt designs, too. Like, you know, that's yeah. PlayStation. All right. <laughs> he goes, All right. You're right. That's a good point. Talk about these. This. This. This is why I'm watching. I don't give a fuck about Keemstar's audio levels. The audio levels right now on my stream are probably way too fucking loud. Cause I fucking butt, butt. <laughs> so emo too. The Come levels on. were decent actually. Yeah, it was actually Bobby. fine. Yeah, yeah. You're good, Bobby. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Your, on your that audio point. is good. So that's just one. And there's if you could believe it, there's more. <laughs> oh, Ela just donated ten bucks. <laughs> said, wow, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Ela, that's our biggest hater. Yeah. Talk about the allegations. <laughs> <laughs> that's our biggest hater right there, Ela. <laughs> totally, totally hinged. He's on that hinge. AB, you've met Bobby? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we, we had a meeting. Wait, AB's time. dogs with Bobby? What the that's, fuck? That's my boy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, there's two photos. I saw two photos. There's two, yeah. Here, I'll throw up the other one. I don't know why. Yeah, so, so oh, you guys are pounding it? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> They're dogs, man. After the crater clash, showing some love. He went to s the fight? No, he, he was supporting me. Like, all jokes aside, he was sitting with a bunch Aww. of people that hate me. And he's screaming my name, go Starkiller, during the fight. I love oh. that. Legend. Legend. Loves you, hates me. Huh? Loves you, hates me. Like everyone who watches this show. <laughs> 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 so it sounds like you had an, a pleasant, uh, a pleasant exchange with him. Yeah. Fight, 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 fight. <laughs> he was nice. Hmm. And then up next, there's more. Uh, screams, there's another one. Of him. In an hour. What is the context here? Okay. You guys are the, you, you're the. Well, you know. it's important to not get hung up on the context. It's more no. about what he said. You know, okay. Just, but basically, oh. his friends are mad at him for something he did. And uh, they're kind of grilling him and they don't let him talk. So he gets upset at this point. Okay, interesting. Well, here we go. It was deleted, by the way. So this is coming hard. In 45 minutes. No, that's not an apology. There's no apology. That's an explanation. Where is speak? You speak. You motherfucker. This shit comes down with, with the that, Mario Party footage. That's that. There. So fucking funny. My Just to let me speak. Me and Zach probably every day tell each other, let me speak. <laughs> like, we. It, 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 you showed me this, what, a year ago? Yeah, yeah. And. It would have been so perfect. We've always said, like, just when people are talking over each other, just perfect. Well, now you have the sound access to the sound. Yeah, Zach is like too powerful now. We were telling him. <laughs> Where like, is like, <laughs> I feel like a large part of doing this is just so that Zach can have access. That's to really the absolutely. Motivator. Let me speak. <laughs> is this guy friends with Keemstar? Is he part of that whole thing? Well, it's weird because he is part of that crew, but he's beefed with Boblex. A lot, Keem and Boblex, and uh, he's oh, blocked Boblex a few times. But somehow they're in each other's orbit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. 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 They're part of the same multiverse. For sure. Yeah. The League of Extraordinary Villains or whatever. It's crazy, bro. These guys, I'm Batman in their life. Yeah. I, I, don't, I you know, I'm not trying to flatter myself. I mean, the guy, they, they're... Oh, interesting. I am. And I'm not saying anything about, you know, that I'm, the, you know, I strike fear and justice and yeah. all that. I'm just saying the way they're obsessed. To give another pop culture reference, I think Bobby is like Vader. Like, he's done some bad shit, but there's still good in him. We could still maybe bring him back to the light. Oh, wow. We can bring Bobby to the light side. Darth, Darth Bobby. Yeah. Both Skywalker. Darth Bobby. 
Darth Bobus the Darth Bobus Darth Bobus the Lost. <laughs> Darth Bobus. Boba Fett. So here's another one. How do you even uh, find Okay, this? so oh. yeah, th let me get some context on this one <laughs> just a little bit. Because I don't even know the full, but just from watching it so many times. Uh, this person was scared that their channel was going to get deleted. And when Bo Blacks heard that, he said, wait, how many subscribers do you have? Why are you so afraid your channel's going to be deleted? And so now he's going to go search for how many subs this person has. And how do you find this stuff? Because these seem to be buried AB in the knows all the lore. AB, AB's the lore master of this crew. I've, I've muted all the haters except him. He's the, one He's the only one yeah. survived. In all honesty, all jokes aside, I had a really bad dream about my grandma. Woke up really depressed. I went in the couch and I saw this video and I swear to God, it just it, it changed my whole fucking day. It changed. Wow. Yeah. That's inspiring. And then he, he has those he, abilities. He brought in the office, and coincidentally, I was having a rough day too. And it just yeah. it just lightened the mood. Yeah, like it was amazing. Oh. He's like Jesus. <laughs> you think he would be down to join the crew? Uh, oh, that'd be a dream, Ethan. I don't know what. Well, here, let's watch. So, so here he's apparently. Uh, let's channel. see. What? Are they talking live, or is he just watching the video? Uh, he's watching live. Okay. <laughs> Felix said, come back to his Bobby. <laughs> come back Dude, what the Bobby. fuck? He's Joker brain. He is the real Joker brain. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting for my fucking channel. What? Yeah. Fighting for your channel? <laughs> Bet you have nothing! <laughs> Where's your fucking channel? Diva, 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 <laughs> the Phoenix diva, man. The Phoenix oh, Diva, dude. The build-up is so good. Where's her oh. channel, man? Oh, I guess. Oh, oh, Where's guys, her I channel? Where's her channel? This is not her channel. Where did you go to a different town? Oh, oh, you're gonna go to her Twitter. Who are these goons talking behind him, too? They're just like... Like a whole group of apes just like... All with Joker paint on. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. What do you have to protect? 500 subs! <laughs> 500 subs you have to protect. No one gives a fuck about you, bro. Holy shit. Holy shit. He's saying, on Kiwi Farm Slam supports what he did with Xander Hall. I can show screenshots from this month. Um, you know, <laughs> like, so wait, why is he even dunking on these, like, litter, <sighs> like these tiny no-name randos? Can I tell you? I'm not that deep know. in. I mean, we're sort of doing years. that. Well, I mean, no, Bobby's a big deal. He's got a lot of subs. I think he's like 300k or something. Yeah, yeah Boblex is a big deal. Oh, yeah, he's, a, he's, yeah. He, yeah, he's got, a, he's got a following. Subs, man. <laughs> 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 he, um, he had a thousand people watching his live stream. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, he's got some, he's got some cloud. He's clouded up, and we just cannot stop saying this shit. Yeah, he's infinitely quotable. Is the problem? Just can't stay away. Here's one about me. Twitter versus Ethan Klein's NRA bomb scandal. Oh, wow. That's ancient history. <laughs> Talk about the allegations! All right, I will. <laughs> Golly. Uh, uh, oh, man. Bet you have nothing! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I feel bad for a way because I feel like I don't want to make too many assumptions, but I feel that this is what happens when you get bullied so and he kind of is trying to reclaim his power he gives me yeah the dude wants friends yeah and that's like a, maybe like i said he can we're all he can come back friends. to the light yeah we can save you we Bobby. can save you Bobby. come back to the light come hither <laughs> this is what it looks like being friends with keemstar by the way yeah exactly <laughs> this is what friendship with keemstar does to your brain digital fuck <laughs> That was so wild. But okay, there it is. Our biggest shout out to our biggest hater, Bo Black. <laughs> Standing O. Standing O for Bobby. Yeah, when we're looking for a tweet and we can't find it, that's what we say. We say Bobby, like Kobe. He's the, he's archives yeah. everything. Well, that's good. That's a service. Um Oh, there's another one. God, there's so much to talk about. We still never get to the trailer shit. I have, like, this huge breaking trailer scoop. I guess I'll save that for Friday, but, like, I want, definitely want to give a shout-out to Bradley Martin, who we've uh, definitely... All right, that was the squash the beef in the yeah, show. We yeah, yeah, so we got to squash this. Wait, we squashed a... 
We that's squashed a different beef. We squashed the, the Gideon beef. Yeah, we did squash. So there you go. Beef was squashed. But this is the one that, that we were talking about before that curveball came out. Uh, Bradley Martin, he's like this swollen guy. He's got a, he owns a gym. He hangs with the Nelk Boys. And during COVID, he, um, he refused to close his gym and keep it open. And then, well, what was also crazy, he had, like, an insane fan meetup. Remember that during COVID where, like, hordes of people were going there? Yeah, it's, I, I vaguely remember that. But, I mean, you know, it's not, again, it's not like these are unforgivable crimes. You know what I mean? I want to talk about how come I wasn't invited to. Seven minutes? Fuck. This I, is the edit, too. I want to squash the beef, bro, but I don't know if I got that much time. <laughs> Uh, Ian, you cut this together. Is, is there any way to uh, expedite this? Uh, let's just watch. We'll just watch a bit and see. All right. I want to talk about how come I wasn't invited to the H3 podcast because I got some shit to say to that motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I'm here for this conversation. <laughs> I was an H3 fan before I got into it uh, with him. And then afterwards, he had stuck up for me. And even though we had My beef boy. in the past, he still... You know, stuck up for me, so that meant a lot to me, and I wanted to mend that relationship, squash that. Love beat. you, Jeffy. Good. When I left there, I felt I felt real good. It's good. It was a. Nice. I mean, dude, it worked out great for me. Mike crushed <laughs> it. His alpha there. brain kicked in. Damn, he was on he fire. Was on. He was talking politics <laughs> with them, and he does a political show too. So yeah, I know. They were really into that, and their audience was really into that. Yo, this guy's got monster thighs. Look at the size of those things, bro. <laughs> You might enjoy me saying, you are jacked, brother. You're fucking yacked out of your mind, dude. Your thigh is as thick as my goddamn... That's... that's... That could, that could Look how thick that is, That could bro. squash a watermelon or two. Yeah, without even trying. <laughs> my man. Thigh god. <laughs> but, yeah, great crew over there, great audience. He's got a great... great dude, honestly, it's, it, it sucked because he... You know, like, I had friends who had real consequences because of and maybe like, i take cross with this just for the record maybe rightfully so i don't fucking know dude like i even had real consequences for stuff that you know wasn't true there was there was like you know he had perpet or perpetuated the story that i would that i had done this crypto scam when it, in reality it was just complete bullshit and i'd never made a single fucking dollar off of it bro don't put dink doink on me <laughs> i feel like he's backpedaling a little bit on our amnesty he can't be put. He, I'm saying you can't blame me wait, for wait, wait. Dick, for Dink Doink. Are we sure he's talking about Dink Doink? Because there was the other crypto thing. Which with, one is that? Where he like used his NFT as collateral oh, for oh, a oh. loan. Well, he said, I think he's talking about Dink Doink because he said he lost sponsors because of the Dink Doink video. Oh, that what you're right. When that he was pulled it up, he's like, thing. "This video cost me so much." Oh, money. you're right. You're right. You're right. Don't put that on me, Mikey. Okay. Yeah, didn't he say he got he got tricked into doing that dink doink video? Yeah. Seems like it's the fault of whoever tricked. I never yeah, I never asked for a dink doink video. Yeah. Okay. And I never nobody I mean, listen, you talk, just talked about it now. I don't think you guys ever even talked about dink doink, so what do you want? Come on, Mikey. Don't throw don't start throwing me under the bus now. We made a lot of progress. <laughs> And I lost a financial sponsor as a result of the video that yeah, he made. And so I lost, you know, like thirty, forty thousand dollars from a from a financial sponsor. And so like there was real palpable reasoning for us to have this n dislike for each other and, and also for other creators. But you know, we got on the show, we sat down, we talked to him, he's a likable guy. He fucking he, It had to be done. Yeah. It had to be yeah. done. And they're good at what yeah. they do. I love Jeff. <laughs> Jeff is such a bro. Such a best. It had to it's be done. Obviously a different style of content than we make. Right. But um yeah they're killing it and yeah. thank you brother i don't want to have beefs out there. i don't mean i don't mind i'll have beefs for life i'll take it to the grave with certain <laughs> people but you know that's not one that i wanted to have and a lot of it was just a misunderstanding so we needed to just get in there and chat and yeah it felt good yeah how would you approach it would you <clears> go in there just trying to body slam everybody in, in the i'm scared place? of him bro he would crush my skull with one hand <laughs> You would squash the beef in your brain. That's right. That's, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to squash the beef. Place or body slam everybody? <laughs> yeah. No, honestly. I what mean, is your issue with He him? just had, he, he, I kept my gym open during COVID and he just ridiculed okay. me for it, basically. Yeah. And, and related like 
the, my biggest issue, the thing I just would love to talk to him about is he tried to relate like the gym and the importance of the gym. And I was speaking through like a mental health standpoint as like, it's basically like laser tag. And I'll just never forget that. I don't remember exactly what we said, but... I, well, his whole argument, and know. he wasn't the only one making this argument, but when the whole debate about the lockdowns was happening, they closed a lot of gyms, and a lot of people were saying that for a significant portion of people that are, that are gym rats, the gym is like their therapy, and by closing that... You know, essentially his argument was that it is an essential service. So I think and, the point that we were making was that, you know, a lot of people have passionate hobbies and everybody was having to sacrifice and you don't have to go to the gym to exercise. You can do it in your own home. You can run. There's a million ways that you can do that, you know. Right. And that's a good account to keep healthy. Uh, the gym isn't the only place that you can do exercise. I mean, there's a strong yeah. Counter the gym, the gym is like you know, <laughs> I I say laser tag because it's silly, but it's like someone that might be their passion and the way that they get their shit out and feel better about stuff. But we were all asked to sacrifice in that time, and uh, you refused. But that being said, you know, in retrospect, it's just not a big deal. We all got fucked over by COVID, and nothing. We never got to. We fought, I mean, there might be a little argument that uh, people like you might have something to do with that. I mean, at this point, but uh, bygones be bygones. I mean, my fellow family just got COVID. Wait. Oh, right. A couple of weeks ago. Right. Three, You're four weeks correct ago. family. Yeah. I was, thought you were saying like your parents got it or something. No, no, no. So, I don't know. I personally don't consider the gym an essential service for those reasons, but... But I, 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 I don't, again, I don't think it's like an unforgivable crime. Like, you know, I think it's fine. You know, you made a, that choice. I criticize you for it. And, you know, if you want to play laser tag, I'm down. <laughs> we, can, we can decide this over laser tag. That moment where he said that in a video and he related the gym being like, well, I really like laser, laser tag. So, like, I should be able to laser tag. It's the same thing that this guy's complaining about. And I just think, obviously, from him, it, he doesn't understand how actually important it is for someone's mental health, mm -hmm. like it was for me. Yeah. Exercising is important for mental health. You can do it. You don't have to do it in a tiny room where everyone's sweating and breathing and sharing space. During a pandemic, you know, it's all ancient history now, right? It feels like. But I'm just saying, at the time, it was felt pretty serious. So I just remember hearing that and being like, this guy is a piece of shit. <laughs> that's, that, that's where I could. That's, that's an where interesting. I, I, well, I agree with that. I, yeah, a lot of people hold that opinion about me. And I'm a hater ass bitch. So what can I do? <laughs> I mean, I'm coming out of the closet. That's a good argument. See, yeah. I, I like that better than the body slamming technique. I'm going to reach <laughs> out. I'm going to try to say. I just oh, you ask him about You don't that. have to, buddy. He'll, he'll see it. Trust me. He has an army bigger, than, be, more ferocious yeah. than any army on the Internet that will take. Come on. We love our family. I mean, he's right, though. Family. We saw it because someone family. saw this clip family. and posted it on family. the subreddit. So. Family. 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 Stop! Stop! We are legion. <laughs> Hear us. Or whatever uh, fucking anonymous says. Anonymous. No, I'm, we're good people, right? I mean, we don't... We're good people. We're trying to be. Yeah. I think so. We are. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah trying yeah, to be yeah, anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take that clip and it will get to him. And by the way, it's a good, it's a, it's a discussionary point. And I, I said to Ethan very specifically on that show, a lesson that my friend Logan Paul taught me, it is very dangerous to speak in extreme absolutes in life. And then, and to say to someone, what you are doing is 100% uh, unequivocally wrong. It's just I don't really get this point. I mean, there's clearly things that you can do that are unquestionably wrong or right, like murder, right, sexual assault. But I get it. I mean, yes, most things are are more nuanced than that, right? Really hard to do that because you can you could never predict the angle for which someone does something. You don't know what they're going through. Like, yo, what if every person in that gym without workout was a detriment to it would be a detriment to their mental health to not be there and i think that's what you're you're that's saying that's exactly what i was saying but i i just i don't know why they're making this special carve out for the gym people have hobbies lots of hobbies people were getting depressed and fucked up because they couldn't go see their family they couldn't go to school they couldn't go outside they couldn't do this that it's all it was fucking everybody up you're not special cuz you lift weights bro
you know? You're jacked. You have massive fucking thighs. I like to get squeezed between those, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it doesn't make you special. <laughs> right? And Thank you. <laughs> and, and so, you know, like, I, I think, although... Yeah, it's a fucking pandemic! Oh, boy. I'm just saying! We're, try we're trying, we're trying. It's just not that crazy to, to, to criticize that. It's not, but... It's a pandemic! <laughs> I'm sorry, I was channeling Bo Black. Yeah. Let me speak! <laughs> Talk about the allegations! <laughs> Bet you have nothing! <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe those sound bites are so good. <laughs> Dream come true. All right, let me keep low key boss. 500 subs, I know, man! I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Size, he may have been right that a, a, a pandemic that was at. It also was a different time, Bradley, of COVID. It was a different time. I think even near Thank the end mind. of COVID, we all were just like, dude, this is fucked. This is like, dude, being in LA with yeah. this motherfucker, the whole rest of the world has has moved out of this phase and we're still wearing our masks outside. Like, yes, I think it's everybody insane. fell off at a different point. But I think <clears throat> for you, the problematic situation was that it was very early COVID. That's true. Thank you, Mike. Okay, Mike's back on Bestie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> w, Mike? Yeah, yeah. w Mike. W Mike. Mike. I'm team Mike. I'm on. Mike. Mike. Wike, 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 wike. I'm wet. And, and right that now. was a time when a lot of people were very scared. And so I'm not, I'm not saying either side was right, and you guys can hash that out and have that conversation. I simply do this on podcasts where I present the opposing viewpoint when they're not in the room. And so what I would, what I would hmm. assume was that Ethan was in a different that. phase of you his. That, Mike? Re you relate? They say it because I'm the devil advocate. advocate guy. Yeah, he's trying to play that role. White? I don't even think this, but just to play devil's advocate. There <laughs> <It is>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this, just to play devil's advocate, but Hitler was right. <laughs> Grab that sound Respect by Respect and fear of the virus at that time. And so he was looking at it as an irresponsible uh, a tactic to do that. Thank and you, I'm, Mike. I'm, once again, you guys talk. Yeah, about I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well said. Thank you, Mike, for saying that. Appreciate you. Come over here. You're your best friend. Give me a hug. Yeah, but like I'm just trying to. I get it. I think it's more so related to probably the other things that I was involved in at the time, which would have been like making content with the Nelk Boys, and he was he was kind of active on, you know, not us doing other fuck shit that he was probably relating to this whole situation. Yeah, Bradley, and, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. If the gym was for mental health, what was the ten thousand person protest for that you knew was just gonna piss off those people for content, right? Well, there. There you go. Man is a good. He's a Mike, good man. Mike, you're making you're making points. You're a here. good man, the Michael. Some would say the best. You're a good man, Michael. Just so we're clear, I said I'm team. I am WEF right now. W E F F, like win for Jeff. Team WEF. Team WEF. Team Michael. Team WEF. Yes, the chat misheard her. Yes, so did A B apparently. <laughs> what do you? Th they think you said something <laughs> bad? Like no, a, they just something WEF. No, you just yeah. said team WEF. Weff and Weichel. Weff and Weich. And That's I vote for both, but right now, Weff. Weff and, wait, wait, Weff, Weichel, and Wanna. Yes. And now we're just talking <laughs> like a baby, dude. Yeah. <laughs> It's weird. <laughs> it's, a, it's not good. <laughs> there's the one. There, there's yeah. the Are you a little Weichel? Weff and Weichel. That's what all these, Weff this is what all those Weff. bros who say W everything sound like. Yeah. Are you a little Weichel? <laughs> you want to play Winecraft? Wan. Wan by Willa Wan. <laughs> the one thing that you're, I'm going to be like. And yeah, you're like, you're right. Okay. Yeah. That's okay, where, got, that's, it, got it, got it. <laughs> but the gym itself, which is an operating business, right. still existed in a space where people came there like in the fucking troves because of how important the gym itself is to them. Right? That was a completely unique 100%. experience like outside of the actual gym itself. Also, like the city kept asking him to shut it down. I remember they had to turn off the power to the gym. You know, it's like the dude really thought he was special. Yeah, I mean, everybody had to make sacrifices, and I know, you know, I, you know, I'm one of the last ones to defend small business owners. But from his perspective, he's he's got a business. I'm sure he was losing a ton of money during all of that, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. during that whole period, when the government was asking small businesses to close for an indeterminate amount of time, I can understand why that was a panic moment for a lot of businesses that mm -hmm, probably mm -hmm. 
can't go several months in a row without with that much lost revenue and mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the government was asking people to do that they maybe should have provided more support to make that right a, right, right you know right, right, challenge right, right, for right. them um, the government is the enemy is the enemy of the people so that'll be wan no you're right wan they should have done more for small businesses so I do, I, I understand if he's going to say, oh, well, he's just doing this, he don't give a fuck, right? Then he can just relate it to that and say, oh, he doesn't really care. But like, I definitely come from a sp- specific standpoint in my life where without the gym in my life, I would not be here. Same. And there's kids same. and there's people who I've talked to specifically in that gym who told me the same exact thing even during that time, thanking me, thank you. Yeah, I mean, you, uh, there's probably a lot of people that say it about a lot of different hobbies, you know, that it saved their life, this and that. And it's fine, y'all. I get it. It's important to you. I remember Hassan um, was you know. very vocal about how depressed he was because he couldn't go to the gym because, you know, he's like a gym rat thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He did it, though, because he was willing to make that sacrifice. Right. But, yeah, I mean, that's a very real thing for people that rely on the gym for their mental health. So, mm-hmm. get it to an extent. Yeah, and, you know, I eat pizza for my mental health, and I have to stop doing that. <laughs> So it's not really fuck. Life isn't really fair, is it, Bradley? Uh, yeah, I, I'm of the mind that it was a time for everybody to come together and make sacrifices. So I'm, I'm ultimately on your side of this. But I'm just trying. Since we're trying, you doing a little mic here, there? I'm doing a little mic. I'm doing a little mic. I'm trying to see it from. All right, that's good. Point that's of good. view. Yeah, I appreciate. Being that. at school is really good for my mental health, but they sent us home. Dude, the kids who didn't get to go to school got fucked up. It sucked. A, a lot of people did their prom. They missed all their functions. They missed whole years of yeah. their formative Genuinely years. Genuinely terrible. It, pandemics are I'm not sorry. good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably. They're it's, not good. We <laughs> should really try to prevent those from happening. Exactly. You know? They don't tell you about that. Pandemics suck. Yeah. We should really. They don't, they don't mention you know, that. No. Try to next time maybe try a little harder so it doesn't fucking spread everywhere. Just saying. Talk about the allegations! <laughs> Talk about the allegations! <laughs> <laughs> Bet you have nothing! Dude, best soundbite of the year. Yeah, soundbite of the year. It, Calling it, it, it dude, now. Yeah. It is. Calling man. it now. It is so good. <laughs> yeah, these poor kids didn't get to graduate. That's so fucked up to have half of your high school experience taken from you, you know? That sucks, bro. I just feel like he's looking at the world in these kind of very narrow glasses, just looking at what's in, what's on his nose and not really seeing the whole scope of it. Go home and do some push-ups, bro. Jump these again. glasses have changed my life. Yes. Do some push-ups, some pull-ups, go for a jog. Get some equipment, even have it at home. Just saying. Uh, the good news, account says, as an introvert, I love the pandemic, so... <laughs> I Not everybody suffered. Love, love is a fan of the pandemic. <laughs> if if you don't account for the people who died, I I loved it too. <laughs> yeah. If you just you just ignore the deadly that. aspect of it. I have a t- um, my life my lifestyle didn't change one bit. I'm not gonna lie. It's I, almost a little bit awkward to admit, but yeah. Sorry, Cam. That's yes. okay. I have a yeah, survivor's guilt about it too because like it was the best thing that happened to me in my life at the time because I hated going into the lottery at the time. But, Is that uh, when we hired you? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's when I really got into the show, too, and started submitting content. Oh. Um, yeah. But, like, I, I was working remote full-time instead of going into the office every day, and that changed everything. And, well, there yeah, you have yeah. it. I mean, where would we be without Cameron? Us, too. Me and Lena. Like, where would we be without AV and Lena and Cameron? We use our unemployment checks to buy camera gear. <laughs> some, of, some of it. And uh, Really? Yeah. I was okay. streaming one day with that gear, and that's when we met. Love that. There you go. Glad I met you, baby. Thank glad I met you. Glad my mom met Steve. Now, now I've met. <laughs> How far have we've come? And the rest yeah. is history. <laughs> this, this, this is why I'm watching. Yeah, right there. That's right. Me too. Well, no wholesome moments just like that. We're in so deep. Let's just let's finish this now. For this, thank you for this. Thank you. Not just fucking three people. Like 
a hundred, two hundred people have said that to me during that whole time. That like, if it wasn't for this, I don't know where the fuck I'd be. Okay, yep. right now I'm I'm just the middleman here. Go I'm ahead. sold on what you're saying. Yep. But are there videos out there of you fucking raging and yes. protest? No. And yes. Yes. Those will be pulled up now. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, you are gonna, gonna, I'm not gonna pull. Them. No, no, no. But he's it, admitting to it. That's he fine. Yeah. He's he's yeah. admitting to it. He's he's not gonna try to fight that. Oh, yeah, which is true. good. And 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 Ethan has become. Ethan, the good thing about him and the reason why the show with us happened is because he's becoming more empathetic to the to the opposing viewpoint. And 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 we all need to. We all fucking need to, bro. Like like the I'm closed off. This person is a piece of shit. Yo, that's which true. Which is what still Wait, exists hold on. in the political. Even the Nike atmosphere. logo on his shoes are fucking yacked. <laughs> Even his Nike swoosh is on human growth hormone. Look at that shit. <laughs> you ever seen a swoosh that big? <laughs> what the hell? Damn, bro. Damn. That's pretty funny. Let's continue. <laughs> What's happening? I can't zoom out now. Why is this happening? Oh, God. Fucking <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Still exists in, in, a, in a societal place at a high level in this country. I don't like your viewpoint, so you're a fucking piece of shit, and I hope you die. Yeah. That is that is you still think, exists. Do you think? But but Ethan but Ethan is has moved out of that, and yeah. now he wants to know. Yo, well, I, okay. I don't think we ever wish death on him. That's merely a little. But okay, I I, I see where far. you're going with that. I don't think. Yeah, I'm not gonna accept that one. That's why I was like hesitant to apologize to Gideon because like I was like, well, I'm not like admitting to be a liberal racist. But okay, never mind. Fucking mad tangent. Why were you doing that? I think talking about someone when you're talking like this in an empathetic way where you're looking at him and you're like, okay, yes, I'll think about that. That's very different from what you used to do, what they're claiming that you used to do. Yeah, you, it may you have didn't felt necessarily. Like that. You know, I've, I've laid it on pretty hard mm -hmm. during the Frenemies era. That shit was just like everybody out for blood. On site. On site. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's. Oops. Let's listen yeah. to them. Do you think? You know? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I no, you're good. Accidentally clicked it. You, did you want to say something? Or? No. Okay. By the way, this is called raw talk, motherfuckers. <laughs> From raw dog to raw talk. Let's fuck professional <laughs> raw dog. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I came with like uh, gloves on and my mask, I'd be, I'd be better off having that conversation. No, he with would him. never, bro. He would just walk away. He would just—he's oh, okay. not gonna. I'm fucking around. He would just, I'm fucking around. No, he would just. I was trying to be an hey, asshole. What did he ask me? He would just, he would just, oh, okay. He's like uh, gloves on and my mask. Why were you doing that shit? Yeah. Do you think if I came with like uh, gloves on and my mask, I'd be, I'd be better off having that conversation? No, he with would him? never. He's joking I mean, about wearing like a pandemic mask. And, fine. Yeah. I would probably. Just ask why you were doing that, and then forget about it. <laughs> Bro, he cool. would just walk away. He would just—he's oh, okay. not gonna. I'm fucking around. He would I'm just, fucking around. No, he would just. <laughs> I'm trying to be an asshole. No, that's it's that's all. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sometimes when I'm watching this and I'm trying to squash the beef, he says he's trying. I'm an asshole. I'm a fucking hater ass bitch. And even in my peaceful phase, it's just hard <laughs> not to. You know, well, it's part of your personality, thank your brand. You. Oh, yes, is thank to you. to ridicule people. But I like Bradley. I mean, I, I I don't have a problem with him. He seems like a nice guy. I'm glad he's jacked. Those calves will fucking make you know, put my head in there. Pretend I'm a watermelon. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> like him, he seems nice, cool, and uh, I would be happy to talk to him anytime, anytime. <laughs> Bradley, if you're watching. So the way they said that, I mean, I, I am not up to date on the lore, but is is he not associated with Nelk anymore? Yes, yeah, see, I'm not sure. He said he was doing videos with Nelk, so I don't know. The way that he referred to it made it sound like that was past tense, like he's not really part of that collective anymore, so I don't know. I guess, is there a Nelk scholar here? Is <laughs> there a Nelk scholar in the, uh, in the house? Zach? Zach? Um, I couldn't tell you. I don't think he, was he ever like really part of the essential I, group, or he always just collabs he, with he, them. He was really he was really homies with uh, Steve. Steve, right? Yeah, they were homies. I been... thought he was part of them, but it appears he's not. So, but even if he is, that's not like an obstacle that's impossible to overcome. Anyway, shout out Bradley. You know, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's bury the hatchet. Let's be homies. Yeah.
Let's make peace with him over Zoom, though. Not on Discord? I mean, not in real life. Yeah, no, I don't want to. I think no. he could take all of us. I want to make sure we're cool before we Yeah, Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's like that. And hey, maybe you squash him. Maybe, you know, we could start an arc where he, uh, he gets you jacked. That could make, be an interesting storyline on the podcast. Shit. Yeah, I've, that'd, be I've, a, that'd be a redemption arc. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we before we go, we gotta watch my mom's TikTok. Everyone's talking about it. My mom put a TikTok that is oh boy, made me very you loved it, right? <laughs> um, yeah. Here's the TikTok. <sighs> you know. I appreciate she's trying to be funny, but some things you just don't say. Okay? And now this TikTok's gonna go viral, guys, probably. It already has a lot of views. Let's see. Let's see how many views it has. 40,000 views. Yeah, it's already like her top banger tweet. Uh, Hi, TikTok. God. Okay, here we go, Mom. Embarrass me. Guys, it's Donna. I always love sharing things with you. It's so much fun. And last night I was watching this show called, uh, it's on Netflix and it's called Emily Goes to Paris. It's, I was watching the fourth or the fifth F episode okay. and she has this little. Emily in Paris? Any fans here? Right. That's what I was going to say. Okay. It's called Emily in Paris. Yeah. So. Emily in Paris. All right, we're off. To I watched a few of those. I'm not going to lie, but it's like hardcore chick flick, like too chick flick for me. Right. No fans in here? Emily in Paris? I put it on to fall asleep. Yeah. <laughs> She's back in Paris, by the way. She got a new season. She's back. Olivia might be watching, but she just ran Emily's well back in there. Paris. Okay. Little tryst. And when she comes downstairs, she meets some friends, and her female friend says to her, La petite muere, which means little death. And in French, la petite muere means orgasm, which I thought was really clever of the French. And muere, which actually means death, is a feminine word. You know, in, in, in English, you've got a ball is a ball, a chair is a chair, but in so many other languages, everything is masculine, or feminine and one of the things that I thought was really interesting too is la, la petite muere which is orgasm but yet the word vagina in French is masculine so hmm. go figure anyways I hope you all have a petite muere by the end of the week whether it's self-inflicted or you share <laughs> ciao you guys Dude, I hated that that made me so uncomfortable that was so uncalled for why did she do that? <laughs> I mean, why not? That's that's a that's a pleasant thing to wish upon people. People you know? are all, all the comments are. I can't wait for Ethan <laughs> to see this. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice thing, but I don't know, man. It's just also, she goes inflicted on you like it's a violent crime. Self-inflicted, yeah. Inflicted, a self-inflicted <laughs> orgasm. I don't know. I just I don't like this whole topics meshing. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's just, uh yeah. Petite muere, which is orgasm, <laughs> but yet the word vagina <laughs> in French is masculine. She's getting too comfortable on this app. Yeah. Hey, moms, am I right? Forget about it. <laughs> so, go figure. Anyways, I hope you all have a petite muere by the end of the week, whether it's self-inflicted or you share. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. It's funny though. I mean, shut up, mom. I mean, it's a it's a it's banger. Funny. It's a banger. <laughs> All right. Well, apparently we've been going for four fucking hours. Yes, sir. So this has been a marathon. It's been fun. I told you guys it was going to be a long ass ep. AB, you were worried we didn't have enough content. I yeah, told you, man. I always do. Look, poor love fell asleep behind me. Yeah, this was a bang, and we still didn't get to the trailer shit. Love. It's like, Wait, what time is it? Love's asleep? We, well, oh. he's not asleep, but he, he looked like he was dozing off a little bit. Oh. I, I wasn't dozing off, but the reason I'm kind of uh, juiced out today is because I have a very, very bad, what's it called? Uh, heartburn. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah. You taking any Super antacids bad. or anything for that? No, because it happens so uh, irregularly, I think it's called. Uh, so I don't ever get to, like, 
But so you should get Tums or Alcacets or that's that's great for uh, f infrequent, you know, heartburn situations. Yeah. Yeah, Just saying. I'll, I'll, I'll look at it. Thank you. Yeah. Gerd gang, gerd gang, gerd gang. Yeah, I'm, I'm girded out because it only comes when I sleep and then my fucking throat is fucked up for like two days. Super annoying. I wanted to tell you, Pokemon got back to me. She wants to do the pod with us, which is great. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you, love, that she sent me a message. And a picture of you saying, no shot. I was cackling when I saw the mini portrait of me. No. She this said, is real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. I'll send, I'll show you. Oh <laughs> you got noticed. Oh. You got noticed by Senpai. Let's go. Wow, that is big. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Here. Dude. I'm, of course, a very big yeah, Pokemon fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, but she says we we'll pick a date into September to invite her. So remind me, Dan. Fantastic. To, okay. To, That's uh, awesome, dude. Holy moly. Right that yeah. Now you need to frame that and put it on the. Yeah, on the other way. side. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Time to start. This is big for me. This is big for me. Time to start oh. Pokemon out of context. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, it doesn't already exist. Last week XQC, and I didn't think that would be able to be topped. You know, this week uh, Pokemon. Wow. We make dreams happen here. Happy for you, bro. Yeah, thank you guys. As a fellow thank sim. You. Dreams do come true. I got Bobby <laughs> this week. This is just fucking amazing. Yeah, everyone's everyone's getting what they want this week. Well, my friends, I'm glad you all joined us for a four-hour marathon. We cried, we laughed, we thought, we prayed. Actually, we didn't pray. We didn't talk about the Tanner thing. Talk about the allegations! We talked about the allegations. <laughs> I can't. All right, I gotta go. It's super late. I was. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Love you guys so much. The greatest family in the game. Guys, come on. I'm not getting game bait. I already apologized to the cats. Meow. Yeah, wow. I mean, I don't. Meow. Please. Okay. I'm not getting gang banged by fucking cats. Don't put that on me. Where is big? <laughs>